Okay. Uh, do I have everything set up? I think so. Should all be good and live. Hello. Um, just double checking that everything works properly. Who? Boop 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 boop. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay, and then there should be a push made to Discord momentarily, ideally, which would be nice. Um, here, I don't need this giant TV showing me my own face. That's what's happening right now. Um, because it's just a little bit distracting, honestly. I'm just, I'm just distracting myself. Um, ah, uh, yes. Okay, so we do have some, um, dramatic lighting. Maybe I can just... Uh, that is currently batteryless. Uh, you know what? Whatever. It's gonna be dramatic. The lighting is dramatic today. Um, we got, you know, we got the we got the bright light over here and the, you know, shadows in this side, and with a little bit of rim lighting in the back, and it's it's very it's very dramatic, appropriately, I think. Um, anyway, I'm going to eat this uh, Milky Way bar, not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. Um, and, uh, I, you know, because I, I want it. So I'm, I want to eat it, so I'm going to eat it. Um, hi. Oh, hey, light pen. Hi. I'm eating a candy bar. Got an upgraded lighting and camera setup, though. It's a little bit dramatic. Shadows over here. Light over here. Very exciting. Hello. Welcome to the, the evening in which I care a lot less about actually getting things done than I usually do. Phone on silent. Yeah. I think so, too. It's, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. You know, uh, we adjusted fiddle. We got uh, new lighting systems, new stuff, and then um, also fiddled with the camera settings to make it a lot better. Milky Way, because it's the best. Mm, well, I mean, of the shitty, you know, vending machine candies. Well. I think it's just better than Snickers in my mind, but. Elite. <laughs> in a good way. I love it. Okay, we got the mics working. We got the mics working. How's my sound? How are we feeling on sound? Hmm. I got a whole bunch of stuff. I think so too. Thanks. Yeah, I think so too. It's uh it's 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 fun. Uh, it's the one I always go for. Everyone's like Snickers and I'm like I feel like they just duped you with their advertising campaign. But um so did uh, uh on the on the subject of being duped by advertising campaigns. Where, where does the word duped come from? I am curious about that. Where does the word duped come from? Duped etymology. Uh, dupe. <laughs> Late 17th century from the fre French dupe, hoope, hoope, which is a bird, apparently, 
from the bird's supposedly stupid appearance. Appearance. Appearance? Appearance. I'm making up new words, just uh, on the spot. This is where we are today. Um, huh. To deceive or trick. I didn't, I, I guess I, for some reason, I thought the word duped was, was more modern. But, um, it just, I, maybe it just sounds like a more modern word to me. I guess it just sounds like a more modern word to me. Um, but it is evidently not. It's from French. Oop. To dupe in English. That's interesting. Um, uh, I was going to say, speaking of, um, advertising campaigns duping people, there's, um, this whole classic thing. Where was I listening about that? I think it was on um, like Radio Lab or something like that. I love Radio Lab, um, where uh, basically they. Oh, that's a good point. No, I'm I'm saying so like, yeah. So th those are two different things. So I'm I'm saying dupe like with an e like that. Um. Uh. Uh. Which is a different word um no but yeah i i've i've i mean i've seen and used duplicate or dupe as in duplicate yeah yeah that's interesting no that's interesting yeah so like a, a, to trick or deceive um yeah um uh i should really get myself like a glass of water in here but i don't have a Water bottle. Put that on the list of things to do. Um, I should actually also get out. Here we go. Here's my notebook. Ah! The entire mic just went whoop. <laughs> just completely tipped over. Let's fix that. Don't want that happening. Okay. Oh, come on. Stop that. Stop that. Eh. Cool. So there's this um, thing that I was listening to on Radio Lab that was basically saying, um, or maybe it wasn't Radio Lab. I don't want to falsely accredit this anyway. Um, but it was it was something saying uh, that um, the Pepsi versus Coke thing, right? Like there was this in uh, I don't remember when it was a while ago, whenever Pepsi first came out, right. There was this like big marketing thing, or it wasn't when Pepsi first came out, but it was this big marketing thing push, um, that Pepsi made saying that like, you know, um, in taste, taste tests, you know, blind taste tests, Pepsi consistently did better. And that was partially true apparently because they did do better in blind taste, taste tests, but that's because Pepsi is sweeter. Um, and so people like it more at first taste, but apparently, um, there's some, you know, like, because the sweeter taste isn't as complex, right? It doesn't sit in your mouth as long. So like the Coke taste is different on the later end. I don't, you know, not that it matters, but it was, it was just this interesting, like talk about how, you know, framing, uh, framing data that you had collected, right? So they, they, f they took this data in of like, oh, you know, we conducted these blind taste tests and Pepsi consistently did better and that's great, <clears throat> but they framed that data without any, you know, just in that term, in those terms without any additional context, um, which allowed them to run this massively successful marketing campaign, um, which is, I don't know. It's, it's just this like really interesting idea of like how, you know, how we consume marketing and how, um, that whole thing is done. Secret project. Does your sibling know a lot about the history of marketing slash sodas? <laughs> I think I need to get a pencil or a pen. Give me a second. Got to grab a pen. Oh, really? That's fantastic. That's funny. Hmm. 
I'm writing in pink today. That's what's happening. I'm writing in pink today. Um, that's really cool. That's funny. They work, they work for Pepsi. Yeah, please, please, you know, if you, if you do ask them about it, I would like to know the results because uh, that's, I, I guess I don't know how much of that, you know, is part of the corporate zeitgeist of Pepsi, as it were, of course. Um, okay, I want to make some notes. One, I need to email that email that person. Uh, and then I was just about to make a note of something. I was just about to make a note of something. I have no idea what it was. I have no idea what it was. That's okay. I'll forget. I'll forget it later. I'll remember it later, because I forgot it. Um. Oh. <sighs> Hi. Okay. Um, yeah, so, so um, P.S., by the way, Light Pen, thanks for being here. Holy cats, right? Because it's pretty late. It's, what, like, well, early in the morning. What's your sleep schedule like? <laughs> Mine's pretty bad. Mine is, mine tends to be, well... I've been working on getting it better recently, but mine tends to be like 2 or 3 a.m. going to sleep, and then, you know. Oh, nice. Nice. Shoe shopping. Uh, a difficult, a very difficult and very important task. Legit, 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 legit. Um... I'm going to bother some more of my friends. Um, yeah, right? No, like, Pen, it's so freaking difficult, right? It's so freaking difficult. I... And it's like, well, and it's also like, you know, there's, there's like, consistently with folks who are, you know, looking for, uh, looking for clothing that is like, in the, you know, in the gender, you know, whatever, right? Like, like, when I'm looking for shoes, frick, that shit is hard, right? Because it, it, it no one carries large women's shoes. But, like, you know, then you go to the men's shoes if you ever did. Like, I mean, sometimes that's just, like, triggering to do. But, you know, you go to the men's shoes and it's like, black and... Yeah, no, the, the, the right shoes don't exist. And, like, the, the one time... So I found, I found, like, this really nice pair for this wedding recently... Normally, I just, like, go to the thrift stores, but that shit is even more difficult because you're never going to find those shoes at thrift stores because the people that do need them wear them till they are broken and dead, right? Um, and so, like, you know, when I'm lucky enough to find something at the thrift store, it's like, ah, right? But, um, uh, but usually I'm just like, trying to occasionally go into shoe stores, I guess, or, like, look at stuff online, and it doesn't exist. And when it does exist, it's not the right color, and it's not the right shape, and it's just, like, yeesh, yeesh. Very difficult. I hear that, that feel, That's that difficult task. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Um, okay, so here's the, here's the plan. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you the plan, even though you'll probably want to go to sleep soonish. Um, the plan is, um, the plan is that I have, uh, yeah, 
Yeah, same. Um, uh, the 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 plan is that I'm I downloaded a whole bunch of games. No clothes are difficult. Um, I think. Well, um, so what's really frustrating for me is like you know there's a lot of these dresses that are like summer dresses and stuff like that, similar to the one I'm wearing, except, you know, most of them end up a lot shorter. And so it's like, whenever I get, find like a really nice dress that I want, it's like, it's really short and I don't feel comfortable wearing really short dresses very much. So it's like, eh, cause you know, Um, okay. So, hey, Light Pen, what do you think? So I have some, I have some options for games here that I want to ask you about. Um, so... <laughs> Let me switch this screen over. Bam. There we go. So, hello, this is me on things. Um, uh, I'm just on Steam here. Um, should I pay, play Bastion? Should I play Crypt of the Necrodancer? Should I play Darkest Dungeon? I'm not sure if this computer will be able to handle Firewatch at the same time as doing recording. Maybe? Maybe not? I guess we can check. Uh, one shot, Tacoma, same issue as Firewatch, maybe. Transistor, less so. This is not the greatest computer. So I'm trying to, like, stick with games that are going to be less high fidelity, right? <clears throat> I really want to play... I really want to play Tacoma at some point, but, again, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that at the same time as recording, just because, like, ugh, there's a lot there. Um... I know it's not like the, the most super high fidelity thing, but. Oh, also. You got it. You got it. Hey, it's Mac. I have that limitation. I cannot wait until I get my own computer. It's finally, I have it budgeted out. I made a budget. Late pen, I made a budget. I just want to celebrate my accomplishment there for a moment. I, I did make a budget, and that was lovely. Um, it was really nice because it was like, you know, I've been feeling kind of shitty recently, and I was like, ah, there's also, like, a lot of finances things to do, and, like, finances when you're already feeling like, you know, having, like, uh... Uh, I, I'm, uh, it's, I'm gonna build my own. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, when, when you're, like, looking at finances, when you're also, like, struggling with, like, imposter syndrome stuff, and, like, also, like, uh, you know, yada, yada, like, uh, I, I, I don't have the full list yet. I'm working on that. I just finished budgeting for it. I don't have the full list yet. Um, uh, but I, I, I am going to be working with, um, my brother does a lot more of that actually, which you may have noticed actually. I don't know if you've seen when my, my younger brother's on. He's fantastic. I love him so much. Um, uh, he, um, is definitely more of the, uh, computer, computer person in the family than I, um, you know, I do, I do a little bit, I dabble, um, uh, uh, you know, obviously I do a fair bit of software stuff, but he does a lot more hardware stuff, um, and, which is nice, because it means we kind of complement each other in that respect, but it also means that he gets frustrated with me a lot, because, yes, right, in every family, in every family, there's always a computer person, there is, I suppose, there's like my dad kind of, but uh, like he's been less 
computer recently. Always, I think he's always been more of a software guy anyway. Um, uh, my dad's an interesting case. My dad's an interesting case. Love him. He's an interesting case. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so I don't, so I don't really know the specs yet. Um, uh, but, uh, John's going to be helping me set that up. That'll be exciting. Um, and, uh, I have, um, some parts of it, uh, I'm getting for like super cheap from a friend, um, which is nice. Uh, like the, um, motherboard, although I haven't found out the specs on that yet. Motherboard and I think the power supply I'm getting from my friend for pretty cheap. Um, they're not like, you know, old or anything. They're just cheap. Um, yeah, right. Um, so that'll be nice. Um, and then, yeah. And then, you know, like the nice thing about building your own and also about like having a person who knows how to do that sort of stuff is that, uh, even, you know, if John's not there, he can walk me through stuff and I can always upgrade it. Right. I can always upgrade the thing. Now, John and I worked to build my computer previously. I, I did have a desktop that John helped me build. Um, and then I touched it. And if you've heard anything about my constant issues with technology, <laughs> well, the motherboard and the CPU both failed. And we don't know why. We've tried to, like, look into it, but we both have no idea why. And it's... Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and so it's just, like, it's just, at a certain point we just go, like, well, that's just Rose's curse, I guess. <laughs> because So that's, like, how that whole thing got started. Because it's, like, literally there is no... There's no reason. It also didn't help that the code that kept showing up on the um, on the motherboard uh, troubleshooter thing was six <laughs> six, um, which I can't remember what it stood for. It ended up being like, and then it was like a zero or something like that for a while. But it, the one that showed up at the beginning was like six six, and so it was like ah, like a demon had happened in motherboard or some shit like that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so I break technology. It's what I do. Except not really, actually. There's been, you know, like, I'm making this setup work just fine. Um, uh, a lot of my uh, technology has been surprisingly resilient. It's just that I... There have been a, a, a not insignificant number of things that have decided to break in my presence, and it is somewhat frightening. Um... So, take that how you will, I guess. Um, yeah, that was that was a really that was a really bizarre time. Um, hey, people are messaging me. You know what, Light Pen? You know what's really cool? You know what's really freaking cool? Is when I, you know what I sh I need to I need to get emojis in here. I need to get emojis in here. Can I use? Like trans pride, like pride, trans. Oh, yeah, I can use that. Okay, there's that one. There's that one. Okay. I don't know if I can. I should put in some like custom and Twitch emojis at some point. I don't know, I don't know if I can do that. Anyway, point is um, it's really cool and like gives me a lot of life for lack of a better word when um, people like talk to me and are like hey Rose like how do I deal with this aspect of being trans or how do I you know or like stuff like that in the past like month I've had a friend um, yeah I'll get there maybe 
<clears throat> Wait. Let me see. Creator dashboard. Achievements. Ah. Yes. I am I am the only the only thing that I am not good on with becoming an affiliate is I don't have enough people following me yet. Um which is fine. I'm not salty or anything. Um uh uh well, no, I am a little big because there's like friends that I have IRL that uh haven't followed me yet. I should just bother people and just be like, "Hey, like leave me leave me a heart. I want to become an affiliate." Um uh yeah. You know. Um, then I could get custom chat emojis. That would be great. Who? Yes, this will all be part of my evil plan. My evil, evil plan. Okay, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Yeah, no, they're fucking real. Hey, light pen, if you ever want to talk about it, my DMs are open. I'd love to chat about it. Or you could chat about it here if you're willing to. Totally open to that. Not not saying that you can't. Um, that's that's real. Dysphoria is tough. I'm sorry to hear that. But also, like... You know. There's a community, right? There's a community. And... Um, yeah. Yeah! Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Um, uh, I haven't been, I don't know if I've been really, like, forward about this. And I think, um, I don't know how much it, how much it matters, you know, the, you know, me being forward about it. But, but, like, um, uh, I, I feel, I feel generally more, uh, that I categorize myself more in the, uh, or ID, ID, more in the, um, gender queer uh sort of uh space um and uh that's nice it's been nice one of the things that I was I was talking about with a friend of mine um uh who was uh we were chatting about gender stuff you know good old good old gender can't get enough of it can't get rid of it fast enough um um, but I was talking with a friend about gender stuff and, um, uh, 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 this friend of mine, um, uh, what was it we said? Oh, we were talking about like expression versus identity. Right. Um, and something I, that came up in the conversation, um, is the idea, and I really like this, this idea that, um, Expression and physicality even can be staggered from identity and don't have to be, you know, don't have to be uh, in concert with identity. So, like, you know, it's okay and, quite frankly, it's sometimes better to uh, just mess around with gender expression and like the you know the stuff you wear like one thing at a time or like you know some of your body stuff and like figure out where how you feel about that try new things on you and see how you feel with them in day-to-day -day life and then you know that the identity the name for it the label for it can come after that um i was saying that uh there's a there's a this other friend of mine um i haven't chatted with him in a while, but I really should. Um, uh, but when I, I don't think this has changed since, but, uh, so I'm just going to use the pronouns I know, right? When, when I knew him, um, well, when we chatted, um, uh, he was, uh, um, he was like distinctly envy, um, but he used, uh, he, him, and also like, like presented you know, much more femme almost. And it was like this interesting idea of like, oh, you know, like they don't need to be, you know, they, they don't need to line up, right? They don't need to line up. You know, you can change them however you want. Um, and, you know, mix and match, pick different elements, 
Um, so that was, uh, I don't know. Anyway, that was a conversation I had recently. It was a lot of fun. But it's, like, really cool to chat with people about that. There have been a fair number of instances of that recently, and it just makes me makes me happy. So, yeah. That's me talking a lot. If you have questions or want to chat about it, feel free to into my into Discord or whatever or, or here. Um, would love to chat. Speaking of Discord, where is everyone? Hey, we got some people. We got some people. We got some people. Um, so, the question becomes, um, the question on my, on my mind is, what should I play? Now that we know what the etymology of dupe is, um, I don't know. I think I kind of want to try and play Tacoma. I think I'm going to try and play Tacoma. I'm going to try running Tacoma and see how badly this system crashes on me because it, it very well might. I'm not going to lie. Um, uh, you know, light pen that's so, so part of that is, is, is knowing that like, cause that's, it's, that's so difficult, right? Like going outside and, and, and having this, this, you know, model in your head, you know how people are going to look at you, right? We, we, we know that. Um, and I, and I think that in, in my experience, it tends to be a little bit more actually like I, I, in the community I was in, at least when I came out, like I tended to over exaggerate that negativity in my head, um, compared to the reception that I actually got. There still were negative receptions, don't get me wrong, and that was really scary and difficult and upsetting and frustrating and frightening, like, ah, uh, you know, like, not fun, right? Um, uh, but, like, you know, th there, were, there was more positive than I thought there would be. Um, that being said, uh, it's still really scary. Um, I mean, yeah, I, like, uh, w one of the things that uh, helped me with that, I guess, like I said, is like, you know, like the first thing that I did when I started, when I was like out to myself as like, I need to do something about this, but I don't know what, you know, I hadn't put a label to it yet. You know, I hadn't figured any of that out and that was fine. You know, that was an okay place to be. Um, but like one of the first things I did is I grew my hair long, you know, grew my hair really long and like left it that way. Um, and uh, another thing I started doing, um, which I could conceal, which was fun, um, was shaving my legs. Funnily enough, I do, I have short hair and I don't shave my legs anymore, but you know, like, it, you know, it was like these little things. Um, another thing was, um, uh, uh, you know, like sometimes painting my nails was like a thing or like, um, you know, just, uh, wearing stuff that I already had in sort of a femme manner. Um, was something else that I did. So it was like, you know, but like the idea that like I didn't need to, and I, and I could, there were days when I wanted to, right. And was just scared to, to like go outside and be femme, you know, and like, just like everything present as femme. Like there were days when I wanted to do that and like, couldn't because it was too fucking terrifying. Right. Um, because it is, um, but like. Uh, you know, I mean, that, that got better over time, but also like, uh, so, you know, on those days when I w wanted to do more or something like that, I would like add a, a femme way of doing something like, uh, I, I do this a lot because like a lot of it was around my hair for some reason at the time. Um, uh, oop, I need to shut this up. Go away. Um, so, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that, that shit's difficult. I don't think it's, you know, honestly, light pen, I don't, I don't know that it's something that you like, you know, overcome all at once is I guess what I'm trying to say. It's something that happens not only over time, but also like piece by piece by piece. 
right? Going outside with, with one particular thing, more femme. And then being able to live through that and knowing that you can do that, right? And now that, that, now that you've done that, like, that is a thing that you can do, you know, whenever. Um, and that was, I think, I don't know, it helped me. I don't know if it'll help you. I, I think that's the way, yeah, there was, um, there's this one, here, let me link it. This, this is the really, this is really good shit. Um, um, it's not a race, Justin, uh, Hartley, maybe? No, Justin, just, no, just this one. Okay. Um, uh, this artist, uh, Justin Hubble, um, uh, does some really fantastic stuff. Definitely recommend checking out their work. Um, but this is like one of their first ones that was like hugely popular and they're really proud of it and good because they fucking should be. It's fantastic. Um, but this is, this is the one that, um, this is like a comic that for me really, uh, um, you know, put that concept in my mind of like, you know, I can try it one thing at a time. And it really helped me a lot with my transition stuff, like figuring out what the heck I want to do. Um, uh, I don't, I don't know if you want me to like, I could, I could read it. I could read it out loud. You know, kind of, why not? Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Hem. Story time. Gather round. Um, it's not a race. It was March 2015. I had just cut. So maybe I should. No, nope, I'm doing it anyway. Here we go. Okay. Wait, I need this. Can I get this in shot? Yes, I can. Okay. It makes it more dramatic, you know? To have the. have the. have this in the frame. Is this working? Yes. It was March 2015. I had just come out online as transgender. Oh, wait, you can't see it now because it's over here. Damn it. Yeah. <clears throat> ASMR stream. Okay. Or more specifically, gender queer. I also would have been wearing a sweater. To my shock, hundreds of people showed their approval. It was lovely. With such support, I decided to learn what presenting as female was all about. Yeah! I bought makeup, lipstick, nail polish, new clothes. In my bedroom, I put it all together. And I'm a monster. I fell under attack by a special cocktail of depression and eternal internalized transphobia. You know the story. Lots of showers, lethargy, anger, isolation. Want to hang out tonight? Uh, rain check. Anguish. Are you okay? I don't know. It was like that for months. Luckily, I have smart friends. You should take baby steps. Baby steps? My friend is slowly building up to presenting female. She tried doing it all at once, but found it was overwhelming. First of all, duh. I had always thought of gender transition as a massive undertaking. But in breaking it down into bite-sized pieces, I could explore on my own terms. I think I'll do my nails today. Feminism was a huge help. Not only could I confidently reject certain expectations, I don't see why I have to make ma wear mascara to feel pretty. So there. But I began to draw strength from what I realized was a feminine side that was exclusive to me. I love how I look in lipstick, though. Uh, out of character, I fucking love mascara. It's fantastic. Anyway, but this person, they do not. Why should I shave? I don't give a shit. Woo! The results were fascinating. What I learned was, some folk present entirely one way. 
Others harmonize. Some transition full throttle. I woke up like this. And others don't. Almost. Not yet. And it's fine if you don't. It's not a race. Love yourself. Anyway, this is, it's really cute. And I love this. Uh, this comic helped me a lot when I was figuring this shit out. Um, and actually, this artist has a bunch of fantastic stuff. Um, they do uh, some really good things. Um, would definitely recommend checking out their work. Uh, I really like their newest one. Um, this one. This, this more than one. It's all about uh, the different versions of um, the trans narrative, right? Um, and how there's a lot of different versions and it's, and also their art has gotten like a lot better, which is always fun to see. Um, anyway, you should check out their work. Fantastic. Yes, please do. Um, anyway, so that's that. Hope you enjoyed this ASMR stream. Um, brought to you by me. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that would be interesting, streaming ASMR. <laughs> I certainly could. Anyway, okay, back to other stuff. Um, but yeah, so, you know, trans, trans things, it's tough, but, um, you got this. You got this. And, uh, more importantly... Um, there is a community of lovely and wonderful people, and while I don't know that I can say, you know, the, the hurdles have become easier to overcome, um, because I don't, like, they have in a sense that, like, you know, with practice you get better at something, uh, but I think, you know, the, the difficulties faced by, you know, the, the, the society we live in genuinely being you know attacking trans folks and and anyone under that umbrella um uh getting over that hurdle doesn't necessarily get easier but it does get more fun if that makes sense like every day that i find ways to be myself is more satisfying than it used to be. Um, and I think that's in large part thanks to, you know, the community of people that I've been able to find, um, both online and off. Uh, just some really fantastic people, because there's, there's so many awesome people out there, so many awesome trans and queer folks out there. Um, and yeah, uh, yeah. If, if you, if you want some connections, I can, let's, let's chat. So, uh, yeah, that's that. That's my, that's my little speech. I'm going to eat the other half of my Milky Way now because I feel like it. Hello. Hope everyone's doing well. Mm. Let's not get caramel on my dress. Well, I do think I'm going to try and get Tacoma to work, partially because <clears throat> Tacoma's a queer story, and I've heard a lot of good things about it, and I want to try it. I've heard from some people that they don't like the ending. Eh, I don't care. We're not going to get to the ending today no matter what, so... Unless it's like a two-hour play, I suppose. And I'm not even sure if this will work. It might entirely crash the stream, I'll be perfectly honest. There's a distinct chance of that. I guess we'll find out. So if everything suddenly blacks out, that's why. And, um... You know... Sorry in advance, but if that does happen, I will be back momentarily. And we'll play something else. 
Sorry about that. Eating on stream. Um, don't know if you noticed. Um, AOE. Oh, Age of Empires. Yeah, I can't do that on on Mac. Right? Nah, I can't. I'm crying. Yeah, sorry. I know. That would be really fun. I thought about that, you know? I thought about that. I would I would like that. I would love to play AoE right now. Um uh, alas, I cannot on this computer. So, yeah. Um, oh, but actually, uh, for real, Light Pen, if you want to, if you want to, uh, play sometime so that you can level up your ELO, uh, I'd love to do that. Um, just, uh, can you, like, um, DM me on Discord about that so that I don't forget, because I will forget. Um, but also, hey, look, my uh, Steam username is right here. You can totally friend me on Steam. And, um, you know, that'll be another reminder. Um, so, okay. Oh, hello. Person. What is this Instagram link you post? Mm. Uh, SJ Dougal? Uh, I'm tempted to think based on just the random link that I probably shouldn't have just randomly clicked on to some random Instagram page without any context is spam. So if you don't want to be kicked, please give some sort of justification slash talk about what's up with that. Um... So, yeah. Um, because I could do that. What, what's up? Yeah, what's up with this? What's up? What, why are you just linking on Instagram? Just for, for lols. Valid. Hey, can you give context before you do that next time? Please, thanks. Um. Uh. Boop, 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 boop. Thank you for sharing, though. Uh. So. Okay. Let's see. Let's try and play this again. Stream might crash in a hot second. I'll be back if it does. See you on the other side if everything fails. See if I can uh Okay. Can do uh, I can do this. Okay. There we go. There we go. No it didn't crash. Well, I mean, we also haven't really done anything yet. Well, let's look at the options, shall we? Uh, start with commentary. Cancel. Oh, did I hit start with commentary? I don't know what I did. Now it might actually crash. I also don't know. Ready to start docking sequence? Okay. Engaging retrocessors now. Limited transfer station to combat. Commercial cargo transit facility. Crew evacuated. Station AI offline. 
Air supply. Oh, it didn't like that. It did not like that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Ah, quit steam. Go away. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean... Uh, you know, it was kind of working. It might actually, like, work. Um, okay, here's a question. I do have a question, and this is what I was trying to check before everything... Um, oh. I am frozen. It dropped. Did it drop? No? We're good. Okay, I, I don't, okay, I don't see myself moving, which is the weird part, but, um, but whatever, okay, um, uh, uh, so, yeah, um, that was interesting. Hey, was the sound okay? <laughs> what, the thing I'm always worried about, right? This is the thing I'm always worried about. Was the sound okay when that was happening? How was the audio balance? If it was awful, please let me know, and I can change it beforehand. Maybe if I, you know, maybe if I try and change the audio before I do the thing, did you hear any of the sound? Um, also, okay, but like the balance was okay before then. Also, have you seen my face move this entire time? Because I might need to restart the stream just because apparently, I don't know what's up on my end. Thanks for your help, Light Pen. Hey, Izzy! Hello, hello, hello. Um, oh, I'm just reloading my page. Maybe that'll help. No, it still seems, it still seems like everything's slow. Um, oh, uh, dupe is just, um, dupe is, uh, I was just looking up the etymology of the word dupe, um, because I did not know it. Also, hello, I'm so glad you're joining me as, appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Um, uh, light pen, uh, uh, any word on the, uh, audio before, like, balance okay, and also, uh, is, is, Izzy, is my, is my face moving? Maybe that's just on my end, that things aren't really working. Okay, cool. Well, then, we're set. I'm glad. Balance was good. Okay. Okay, so here we go. We're going to, you know what? We're going to do this again. We're going to try this again. Light pen, if you're up for it. <laughs> should work. Um, uh, should be okay. Should be fine. I, I, I really think that it, it could have worked. Um, uh, I think that the main difficulty was just that it was, that I, I tried to exit out of it before the 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 cinematic had finished so we're gonna i'm gonna try it again and we're gonna see if i can um do this properly okay hang on i need to let Steam control my accessibility. Okay. Yes, I want Steam to allow, I want to allow Steam control of my accessibility. There we go, okay. Great. So, we're gonna try and uh, throw this up here. Okay. 
Here we go. <clears throat> Let's try this again. Let's see if this works. Um, I'm just going to hit start new game this time. Uh, if it breaks again, then we'll do a different game. Oop, I might have broken it already. Let's see, come on. Start. Start. Yeah, you know, if it's already performing this badly, then we're just gonna, we're just gonna, um, quit it. Um, it's gonna exit. Yeah, we're just not gonna do that. Okay. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do it. That's fine. Okay. <clears throat> so Tacoma is not gonna work, which means I can almost all but guarantee Firewatch will not work. So we're down to Transistor. Bastion, one shot, darkest dungeon, or Crypto the Necrodancer? Not even sure that Crypto the Necrodancer will work. We'll find out. What do you think? Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Um, I know. Well, Izzy, it's it's not because the game is not working. It's because, and it is rude. It's because this computer is a toaster. So <clears throat> we're gonna try and run Bastion. Bastion should work a bit better on this toaster than, um, than, uh, the other game Tacoma. Here we go. Okay. Now I have played about, I think like the first five or so minutes of Bastion and not any more than that. And I don't know why I only played the first five or so minutes of Bastion, but <clears throat> I'm glad I get to do the rest of it on here. <clears throat> it's exciting. Okay. Good music and good voice acting. Uh, story mode. Normal mode. Start a new game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't remember even how far I got in the previous one. I don't remember what happened. I don't remember anything. <clears throat> It's been so long. Is supposed to start at the beginning. Just like ain't so simple with this one. Ain't so simple with this one. Whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the stranded. sky. Stranded. This is this is good voice acting. I appreciate this voice acting. Oh, now I think this is one of the things I love the most about this game, right? <clears throat> oh, there's in time information. Look at that in time information. Boom, 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 boom. <clears throat> Oh, I wonder if there's a voice acting line for if you do nothing for a second. <clears throat> there probably is. Um, I love that uh, game volume up. You want? Okay. I should be able to do that. I should be able to do that. Hang on. Just a second. Hang on just a second. Let's see. Um. Oh. Uh, da, 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 da. let's see. What's up? Sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. How was that? Did that change at all? I don't even know if that changed at all. <clears throat> <clears throat> This is the problem with everything. Got to find that nice balance. That nice balance of, you know, yeah. How the heck to, how the heck to get this? Okay, no, you're good. Sorry, thank you so much, Is. I appreciate it. How's that? Can you like slightly hear the music? <clears throat> okay. Not too loud, do you think? Okay. Do you want it up more? I can turn it up a little bit more. <clears throat> okay. So, I love the fact that, like, this game, instead of 
you know like like th that's just like a good a good moment a good thing to do right one of the reasons why everyone hates skyrim's intro is because it doesn't do this thing where like this game right it waits for your input to start it basically like prompts you to input stuff so that it can the narrative can begin right or skyrim just takes the reins away from you okay so here we go walking up this multicolored look at this wait what happens if i fall off gotta test the limits i can't fall off that's nice and then he falls to his death <laughs> oh shit i can i'm just fooling <laughs> Oh, that was fantastic! Oh, that was incredible! Oh my gosh, that was fantastic! Wow! That was fun. I wanted. Okay, I'm not gonna do that anymore intentionally for a bit. This. Wow! So I can't go off this close edge, though. And I wonder you know, why that is. Um, but that's interesting. Can I go? Okay, but this, this pillar is real. That's interesting. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this pillar is real. <laughs> These edges are, are fake. I, I love the art style of this whole thing. And Ground this... forms up under his feet as if pointing away. He don't stop to wonder why. Well, actually, I did stop to wonder why. Thanks, narrator. But, you know, yeah, sure. Um, uh, can I click things? Can I, can I click things? I am wondering why the ground forms underneath my feet. It's kind of creepy, quite frankly. Um, but okay. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. <laughs> I do love the voice acting on this. Okay, I can smash things. Smash! Space. Oh, okay, I can... You can roll through boxes. This is the perfect Dark Souls analog. Look at this. Look at this. I'm smashing boxes. I'm smashing boxes. I'm smashing. I'm smashing things with my body. Can I smash through this? I can smash through this with my. left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. Oh shit! Calamity. That's fun. Wow, that was very slam. Um, I this symbol is interesting. I know that this shows up a bunch later, and that was cool. And it, there it is, right there. More of it. Like the, the art is so fun. Um, but okay, cool. I can Dark Souls roll to break everything. That's fun. That in particular was quite enjoyable. Look at I, I'm gonna I'm just gonna roll up all these walls. There we go. Cleaned up. Hey, I can fall off there. Nice. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, rolling is a good mechanic. I, I, I do want to play Dark Souls sometime more because I haven't actually like played it. I say more. I haven't actually played it really. Like I played the first couple minutes, um, <laughs> and then I haven't played much else. And th there's uh, the the dodging and rolling is fun. I'm gonna roll through these piles of rocks. You know I am. Break piles of rocks. There we go. Look at that. Rolled through those rocks. That a survivor. No man. It's a gas fella. Forced out from underground. The kid pops him good. Yeah, I popped him fella good. I got a piece of him though. Ah. So that's my health bar. Okay. Nice. So that's. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Please do that. Thank you, Light Pen. Thanks for joining. Thanks for chatting. See ya. Have a great day. Have a great night. Have a good, good. Have a good. Yeah. Um, Light Pen and I are hoping to play a AOE sometime. Uh, Izzy, if you ever want to play Age of Empires, let me know. Um. Also, Izzy, I have the, uh, I, uh, there's a friend who's been letting me use their, um, their computer, uh, and their, um, and their, uh, um, uh, Blizzard, uh, account, uh, 
um, a lot recently because they're out of town. And that includes playing, um, uh, that includes playing, um, you know, that one game, Overwatch. So if you want to play Overwatch together, hey, look, there's a sign. What does that say? I can't see. Also, I think it's not in, it's not in an alphabet that I know. Or, or a language, or a script that I know. I'm gonna just smash everything. I'm so mad! The kid just yeah. rages for a while. Just rages for a while. I love that voice line. The kid just rages for a while. Heck yeah, I do. Heck yeah, I rage. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sure how I feel about the voice acting of that the 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 hammer swings i'm not sure how i feel about that there's like a you know it's fun but uh, okay i'm gonna keep moving i feel like i should okay can i do anything over here except smash more things yikes an old repeater falls out of the sky ain't a gift from the gods but it'll have to do got a older still to spin up the chamber I like that, so yeah, like it introduces each mechanic and then it gives you time to, you know, it gives you time to play around with it and the space to play around with it. And that's just, that's just good. That's just good game design, right? We know this. We know what good game design is and this is part of it, right? You give them mechanics and then you give them space to play around. I am so sad, Izzy, that your work hours have not been conducive to playing games because that sucks. Ooh, can I make it over there? Nope. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, here we go. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Yeah, it does. Sometimes you just need a drink. Yeah, heck yeah. I'm healed. I'm I'm healing. A school of squirts oh shit must have fled here from the mines yeah valid What have you been playing any um fun games recently? Any particular it's a games? Wonder the old saloon still standing. You yep. have the nicest view. It is a wonder the old saloon still standing considering how much I'm breaking things with my hammer. Brang, brang, brang. He sets foot inside one of Salama's oh, nice. famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. Nice, 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 nice. I know there's a battle that happens in here. So I actually really shouldn't destroy all the cover that I have. <gasps> Ooh. Shield. Shit. The security takes him for a petty thief. Kind of figure out how. Robbie always wanted his ashes scattered here. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Ah! Ah! 
Ah. Holy cat. Well, that was, um, a lot. <laughs> Thanks for calling what I did previously nice blocking. <laughs> I I don't know if I would call it that. That was a lot. <laughs> wow. Like, so many things all at once. Oh, that's right. I can roll. Oh, I really should should have used the rolling more because the rolling does damage, too. The rolling is nice. Yeah, break things. Okay, I can roll. I can roll. I can roll. Uh, E. Thank you. See, look, there's that just-in-time information. I love that. They were like, you didn't good use the roll. Things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, this is like a pull to charge. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Can I go this way? Oh. You better watch his step. <laughs> this is yeah. This is this is Hanzo Hanzo's bow. You go walk. I take you a good owl. Oh. Oh, dang it. Right back at you. Oh, there's a perfect block. <gasps> there's a parry. There's a parry. I have a parry and I have an anime bow ninja thing. Oh, I got this. Oh, I got this. We good. We good, fam. We good. Yeah. There's a parry. There's a parry mechanic. I did not know that. That's really cool. Get parried. Yeah. <laughs> Get parried, fools. Oh, hey, there's something over here. Something stringy. It's a memento from a breaker. Once the fastest man in the land. An upgrade material for the breaker's bow. Okay. I don't think I can upgrade yet. Or at least I th feel like it would tell me, you know, if I can upgrade, right? It would be like, oh, oh god, like I feel like I'm just gonna fall off these. Hey, oh, I can parry. Oh, ho ho. Yes! That parry. Uh, oh, okay, good. They're like a bit more forgiving with the, like, you know, whole. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they aim it for the kid. Boom. Ah, damn it. No. Yeah. There we go. Get parried, fools. I'm just gonna go around breaking everything. I, I do like that they, they, they right, there's this, this area where you would normally be, it would be very easy to fall off. It would be very easy to fall off all of this, and they have put invisible walls on this. I do not like how that's inconsistent, but I'm glad that they're doing that. That's 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 good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Boom! 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 boom. Whirlwind. Ah, yeah, that that is a mighty fast learner. I'll say. Break a few more things. Come on. Oh, I got it. Like I can, I can do it by the shadow, you know. Oh, that's right. They move. Okay, so I can do it by where the shadow is.
Okay, there we go. The gates have opened. Am I on easy mode? Maybe? Should I be? Am I? You find the distillery right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. I, d I don't know. I don't know if I'm on easy mode. And the kid will feel like a new man. Maybe I'm on easy mode. Uh, plus 10 health, plus 10 critical hit chance. Absorb stray fragments. Oh, nah. Want, I want, I want, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want some plus 10 health. I just know that I fall off on the edges like the ones you showed. You know, no, I, I know, yeah, no, uh, uh, I know you don't mean any judgment by that. Um, no, I, I don't know. Maybe? But it's interesting because, like, it's not consistent. Like, I, it looks like I can clip right off of this one, right? Um, which is weird. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't be able to. Where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Kill hammer, breaker's bow. Yeah, no, I want the ninja in the whirlwind. Yeah, of course I want that. And I don't have anything else. Oh, dan dancing shot. Causes an arrow to bounce from target to target. I feel like I probably want the whirlwind, right? Because that allows me to take care of stuff when it's right next to me. And I think that's more important. Okay. Cool. I love this face. Look at this face. Deciding. Deciding. Yes. It is, it is weirdly inconsistent. Um, so I don't know, you know, what exactly is up with that. Uh, help and options settings. No, that's just not going to be that. I don't, I don't know if it's going to have, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm going to just do this really quick because I want to yell at all my friends for not being on here. Thank you, Izzy, for being here. There's a lot of other cool people lurking around. Uh, Bastion. Tonight. Also, you all should freaking follow me on there. Plus, I want to get to 50 followers. Okay. Cool. Um, did I update game category? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Let me do that. Thank you for the reminder. Let me do that. It's not just chatting. I'm playing Bastion. Save. Heck yeah. Thank you. Hopefully that changed. Uh, it's always hard to tell when the changes actually go through, but it, it looks like it did on my end. Hopefully it did on your end as well. Thank you for reminding me, Izzy. I really appreciate it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, I don't... Uh, I should probably put a bot in here. I don't know how to do bots. Well, I can probably figure them out. I'm going to make a note. Which chatbot? Nightbot. Okay. Thank you for the suggestion. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. So now that I've bothered people, and also I'm going to post on the Twitter. Post on Twitter and Facebook. Um... Um, okay. Uh, thank you for your patience while I do this. Boom. Boom. There we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, good to know that Nightbot is stream on the stream light, but that is also popular. That makes sense. Okay. Now right, we're going to jump back into this. Okay. Boom. 
Uh oh, I got this issue. There we go, okay. Whew, whew, didn't need to restart the game to make that work. Sometimes, right, the mouse and the pointer get in different places and that was one of those instances and I was really afraid that it would not be uh, able to be unbroken. Okay, here we go. We're back in it. We're back in it. We got what we want at the arsenal. We got what we want at the distillery. We all good, fam. See, and now, okay, ooh, I like that, right? I was over here, the camera was zoomed out, right? I came over here to the to the track. Now the track lifts up now that I've been in the distillery and the arsenal. And also, sound increases and the path, uh, you know, the path is there, the sound increases and, oh shit. Yeah, no, die, right? There we go. Fuck yeah. Um, so, so, right. And, um, uh, the camera zoomed in. So that was, that was really cool. I like the, you know, the little subtle, so subtle elements. Squirts, birthing like crazy in a couple oh of god. Days. Okay. Yeah, we wanna do this. We wanna do this. We wanna do this. Um, okay. That time to run out of black tonic. Ah. Oh, I need that to in order to do the thing. Okay. Cool, gotcha. I need to get rid of this. So like what is this though? You know, like is this like some sort of weird post apocalypto thing? Slime dudes are friends, don't hurt them. Wait, the slime dudes are friends? Which of the slime dudes are friends? The boxes? Oh, I'm sorry, slime dudes. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to play this game. Is this a person who's stuck here? Ah, okay. No, no, no. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I'm so close. Uh. Oh, I'm going to leave them there, of course. I, I keep forgetting about the space. I keep forgetting about they are cute. The slime dudes are cute, admittedly. They're fun, they're fun creatures. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, ah. Nice. Nice. Now this is a game where you smash everything. They are super cute though. The whole ferry barge sends the kid on his way. What? The bastion's real close now. Okay, okay, okay. The music is really good. I am Hanzo with a hammer though. I'm I'm Hanzo and Reinhardt. What I think makes this music work so well is that it uses instruments that are not usually used in Western video game music. And that well, it really just shame on Western video game music as a as a general thing, but Hansart Reinzo. Kid takes a chunk of alloy. Smell of barley and spoiled blueberries. Ooh, something, something's shaking. Oh gosh. 
kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Okay, gotta focus, gotta focus, gotta fo- Oh gosh, they made a hole in the earth! I didn't realize! Oh, there's a hole in the earth, there's a hole in the earth! I can't just, like, go everywhere now. Ah! Oh, it's wherever this one. Oh gosh. It doesn't feel like I'm uneasy if I am. There we go. Die. There we go. Oh. Yeah, that is is frightening it is a really neat mechanic because it means that the battlefield is changing as you play it ah <laughs> almost fell off the edge there again and that that is that is fun that is really genuinely cool um, uh, one of the things I love about, like, right, the, um, uh, and this actually reminds me a lot of it just in terms of the aesthetics of the, or not the aesthetics, but the, um, the mechanics of the arena itself and everything, the way it is right now, is that, um, uh, um, if you've ever played, um, there's a lot of, like, sub-games in Minecraft, right, and one of them is, um, yeah, right, it does. Um, one of them is, a uh, Spleef, um, which is a fantastic Minecraft multiplayer game, sub-game, you know, a game within a game. Um, it's one of the things I love about the Minecraft communities. They make all these weird, you know, sub-games. Um, and um, uh, Spleef is, is so much fun, but but part of the reason, the reason it's fun, really, is because what you're doing is you, you are playing in an arena just like this, where you are trying to get other people to fall while not falling yourself. And so it's that interesting, like, uh, um, you know... He finds the core to the Wharf District. Oh, that's beautiful. This is really pretty. Yeah, use creative games are so cool. So cool. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. I feel like I should just like kind of go through this thing. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh. It just keeps running. Somersault like crazy. Somersault like crazy. Yeah, I am. Ah! <laughs> nope, and down he goes. Speed run time. <laughs> now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Wait, what? Did I fall down to there? Did I, was I supposed to fall? The narrator is so dreamy. Did anybody else survive? Oh, I love that sound of these blocks popping into his existence is so satisfying. Can we just talk about that? Do you hear that? Oh, so good. Uh, maybe? Yeah, but no, 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 I don't. No, I don't. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Izzy. 
No cops in chat. <laughs> but yeah, no spoilers for this. Sure well. enough, he finds another. <laughs> Th that sound! That sound is so good. I don't know if you hear that. There, there we go. Thank you. Viva la revolution. Viva la resistance. Anyway. Um, okay. Can, can you hear that sound? Is the sound high enough for you to be able to hear that? That like, it's like raindrops, but like reversed, which is perfect for blocks going up. That is brilliant sound design. That is amazing sound engineering. What? 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 That's so good. Oh, I could listen to that all day. That's so satisfying. He finds me. Oh, shit. I think this is exactly how I reacted the last time I played this because I got about this far and I think that my 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 um, reaction was, oh, shit. Because that's cool. He finds me. Like, it's like, oh, like this, this, this narrator is in game. And that's, that's fun. That's fun. We talk for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest, enough to point the way to the cores. Oh, this music is really good. This is the main theme song, I think. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there, then watch. It's what powers the whole thing up, if I recall correctly. Right? You put the core on this. Okay. But, like... That kid ain't finished here yet. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. I just wanted to explore, narrator stranger. Rude. Ah, dang. Yeah, no, this soundtrack is so good. Uh, I need to find a, a, a campaign that I want to run with my friends that would, like, fit with this soundtrack. Maybe I could just make one around that, you know? That would be fun. Ah, oh, it's so good! I'm just like, I'm dying right now. This is so much fun. Boom, doom, doom, doom. Uh, okay, we're gonna do it. Here we go. Place in the core on the monument. Like that, it is Firefly. Ask. Starts growing again, growing stronger. The kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Okay, but it looks like there's lots of room for it to expand over here. So what my in immediate curiosity is that is like because this this is clearly like the central the central area right it seems like you know this sort of central pillar area right and so like I have to think you know that there'll be more hey Aaron it is yeah it is firefly esque in the, that sense it, it, it feels like there's gonna be more over here anyway I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. These, gosh, ah, oh, this art, this art, this eye fell off the world. Also, there are these little, like, swirls, these geometric swirls are kind of, like, in every piece of art somewhere right now, and that's just so much fun. Okay, here we go. Uh, I don't know. I feel like a distillery would be more important first. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. From my... Whoa! <laughs> Dear narrator, what was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> um, uh... Yeah, Dia, probably. Yeah. Uh, Dear narrator... <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Smoke and velvety voice. <laughs> kid takes t kid takes time to sample some wares from my so or sorry, some spirits from my 
personal supply. Like, what? From my personal supply. Like, what? Whoo! <laughs> okay! 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 <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dia. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Dead rum, dread rum. Plus 10 critical hit chance. I don't care about absorbing stray fragments. Um, plus one to chance to carry on if defeated. Uh, I might, that might be useful. Plus 100% critical hit chance. Active only when below 33% health. Oh, this is more me. Uh, plus 33% speed while defending. Huh. That would actually be really good. Um, yeah. Oh, they, yeah, they for sure do. That would definitely be good because I, I've been, you know, like, uh, defending to counter and then also, like, arrows and stuff and, and moving faster while I defend would be good. If I can also get, like, a movement speed while I'm shooting arrows, that would be ideal. Then I'd be Hanzo, right? Then I'd just be Hanzo as opposed to Rhinzo, whoever Rhinzo is. Cinder brick style sure goes down smooth. Yeah, it does. It stays in your gut like a rock. It stays in your gut like a rock. I mean, I don't, I can't even, I can't do that, you know? Sure goes down. You don't know what's out there I can't do that. It would be more if there were... I can't wait for this tree to grow. This tree better grow. This is my favorite tree. It's my favorite creature. It's my favorite character in this game now. I am declaring that. Yeah, I mean, that might change. But as of right now, this is my favorite tree in the game. And it... it it's it better grow when I grow the bastion because inevitably you know this bastion's gonna grow because look at the look at the design of it right they they made it so that this whole side over here is empty and there's space for these future like expansion th slot things so it's definitely gonna grow that way the question is will the tree grow with it and it better that's all I'm saying it better okay here we go we're going back out I guess wait I can probably ask the narrator with the smooth voice about other things the strange Ain't always much to say. Ain't always much to say. <sighs> Damn that smooth voice. Okay, here we go. The skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant land. Oh look, I can go to the distant land of Supergiant Games. Oh no, it's the home base. Turn to Sebastian's power, seek out cores across the city and beyond. Ooh. Ooh, now I love myself a good map. Uh, anyone who knows me knows that I love myself a good map. <clears throat> and this is a good map. I love I love this good map. I want to I want to dissect this map piece by piece. Now here's something interesting about this, right? It looks as though okay, first off, I do want to comment on the fact that Supergiant Games are continues to impress specifically with their this this like freaking curly thing right here they do these curly things in so many things and i love it it's fantastic okay anyway second thing wait a second wait a second wait a second wait a se wait a second wait a second Wait, okay, wait, I love myself a good map. Y'all know I, I love myself a good map. Now, uh, this is where I get curious, right? Because I, uh, I don't think anything else works with this. Yeah, no, that's probably not the case. But I do want to point out that this area, and this happens with every map, right? If you make a map, part of it will look like something else because humans like to see patterns in it. Map aggression. I never noted the curly things, and now I'm going to. Yeah, the curly things are everywhere, and I love it. Right? They're, they they do very curly things in pretty much everything. But this looks a little bit like Western Europe. Right? Italy, Spain, France. I don't think it's supposed to be at all. Uh, Greece. I, I don't think it's supposed to be at all. Because 
you know, the fact of the matter is, as as always, right? If if you make a map, some and you make it up, someone will interpret it as something else, right? Like I have a map and someone said, hey, look, Rose, there's this part on your map that's reverse Italy. And I'm like, wow, I didn't realize it, but I had accidentally made Italy, you know, with water, right? Like it was reverse Italy. And I was like, okay, that's what I'm calling it from now on. And so I named the nations around it, um, uh, uh, the words reverse Italy, but then mixed up in a different way. Um, uh, so that was, that was fun. Anyway, okay, so um, another thing I want to note about this map is that this area looks more calm, this area that we started in. Obviously, like, what's going to happen is we're going to, like, spread out into various areas of this map. And, you know, over here, there's, like, this tower, these towers and this wall, and that looks potentially foreboding. And, like, over here, there's, like, mountains and spikes, right? And stuff, and so like it definitely looks like this sort of thing where like you know we're expanding out naturally as we go, which is which is kind of cool. Um, I'm inclined to do the bow one, just because I wanna I wanna keep being Hanzo. I wanna train breaker barracks proving ground. Here the breakers once honed their skills and focused with bows. Yeah, I wanna go be Hanzo. Um. The breakers used to come here for spoilers. They used to play a little game, see who could bust the most targets in the shots okay cool I'm down he's focused he's armed and he's off well I have to line up as many as possible don't I how am I gonna do that oh okay uh I mean I can do it Uh, okay, here's what I'm thinking. I can shoot a perfect shot in a with a flash. What's oh? Okay. Yeah, I gotcha, 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 gotcha. These are these are some good jams. Indeed, these are some good jams. Okay, wait. There's one more, of course. third prize eh I could do better obviously that's that's kind of the implication okay 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 oh restart now we're gonna go back to the the skyway um those things are fr yeah like the swirly things are even in the little fragments some of the materials we that's incredible. And I'm trying to think. One, two, three, four, five. You could do five. Yeah. I, I don't know if I could do under five. I could do five, probably. You know, if I really get it. Sometimes a single look says it all. Sometimes a single look says it all. Don't lie to me, old man. <clears throat> You're just... You just got nothing to say. Core detected. Home base. Ah, Wharf District. Oh, the, I already cleared that. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. There's the Bastion. That's my Wharf District. Cleared means, so Super Giant Star means it's cleared. Okay, so this is where I'm going next. Cool. Um, Yeah, they got the swirly things everywhere in this, and I love it. I also... Now it lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. <laughs> that was cute. What I really want to know... And what I like is, right, you can basically pause it here and not start it and hands off the controls and nothing happens. What I really want to... Hey, and another one of those trees. My favorite tree is here. Ooh, I do like the weird blue... Look at this, this weird blue... Um, uh, uh, you know, the weird blue willow tree. That shit's awesome. Maybe that's my new favorite tree. Nah, I still like the pink one a lot. I still like the pink one a lot. Okay. 
we'll have to do like a debate of of different uh, trees throughout this game, right? Which trees are the best? Right now, I think the uh, the I mean, what would this be? It's the it's the curly tulip tree, probably, right? And I think the curly tulip tree currently, for me, is above, right? This is the most important part of the game, um, is above the blue-haired weeping willow. Um, although, blue hair, very queer. And I'm always down for that. It's a really close call. Anyway, the curly thing is everywhere. What I really want to know is whether the script that's used for the writing in this game is an actual script for something. I kind of want to like go in and decipher it. But that's my uh, the conlanger in me talking right. Like... core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? Look at that tree. Look at he its heads majesty. For the steps. Won't be no field trip this time. What do they used to do? What are they doing? Why are they going away? Wait. It's nice that I can. Oh, Keep I fell. Himself, you better watch his step. I like how you know what's nice is that it, it takes out the characters that are under you when you die and then fall back down. That's Good that's really nice. Just, just about anything, except for this. It's quick for slicing. Oh. Oh, dang, that's cool. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Okay, I was gonna continue that direction, I guess. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Let's go drink from that fountain again. <laughs> Do, do, do. Huh. <laughs> just just hack and slash, you know? Okay, we're just hack and slashing. We're just hack and slashing. <laughs> That's I fun. I like the hammer a bit more. And the bow. I mean, I like the bow the most, right? You know, you get to rah, be Hanzo. Okay. They say even the most rambunctious squirt, squirt lure. Oh. There's no squirts. The here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. <laughs> squirts don't make the best of friends, but they can be useful in a pinch. Oh dang! Oh, that's that's cute. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the sword so far. Okay, but that's that's cool. I can lure squirts now. That sounds like a sexual innuendo. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, it's a mini version of my tree. My favorite tree so far is is down there. No, and so is the willow. Look at that. See the blue-haired willow and the and and my tree? They're together. I think they're just like a, a gay couple. I'm just calling it. They're just you can lure my squirt out. Thanks. Mm, no. Good squirts just don't know when to quit. Except for this one, who knows when to quit and help me. The trees are gay. The trees are gay. I mean, for the east side. everything is gay. Used to keep the local forge. No, I don't. Ooh, see, more swirlies, more swirlies. They're everywhere. Gosh, I love these blue stones. Oh, uh, this stuff hurts me. 
Oh. That was interesting. And there he is. The oldest scumbag of them all. Gershel. Okay, cool. Gershel. What a name. Yeah, okay. That was an interesting creature. The rest of the path is gone for good. Oh. And his city crest won't bring it back. Oh. Oh. Okay, so it sounds like what was just implied just now is that the the crest that I have on my back. Core. No surprise. Like the gas fellas are hiding it from him. Um uh sorry, I'm like Okay. Thank you, friend. That was very sweet of you. Oh, something sharp. Oh, I get to summon another one. Look at all of them. Okay. So Here's, uh, um, uh, so the, the, the city crest on my back is what's creating the city around me? Like creating, like lifting the blocks out of the ground or where, wherever they are? I don't know. They're just coming up and they're popping up and, you know, so it's like the city used to be here and the city crest is what allows it to be here again, maybe? I don't know. That's what it seemed like the implication was. I don't know if that's what's happened. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way. I'm betting the city crest is over is over that way. Um, uh, okay. Okay, well that wasn't ideal. Also, I should. Oh, frick, frack, fuck. Okay. Um. Let's do that. There we go. Gotta love those health fountains that are just sitting around. Good stuff. What's this? Paintings? That's... That, I'm not gonna lie, that's really confusing graphics right there. I'm confused. Odd place to find the likes of Percy the Snitch. I can attack. I don't want to though. Uh um uh Uh what's confusing about it is um that Thank you, Izzy. Thanks for joining, appreciate it. Say hi to Michael for me. Thanks for being here. Um and thank you for suggesting the game. Heck, this is a really good game. Well, like... Somehow that old forge is still standing. Okay. Uh, it, it's just... It, the, the, it looks like a graphics bug. For some reason. I don't know. Die. Okay, we're going into the forge. Inside the forge, he can fine tune those instruments of his. Hey, this is what I wanted this entire time. Okay, select an upgrade. Uh, these are locked. Plus fifty percent damage, plus ten percent critical hit chance. Friends looking fit to keep on this. fighting. 
Um, ooh. Faster firing might be nice. With a good length of me scud, that bow's like new again. Okay. Okay, cool. Fantastic. Got the forge. Core ain't here neither. So he's got to guess again. I mean, I, I I knew the core wouldn't be here. Um these Now, here's a question. Are these trees? That's my question. Are these these this thing I'm slashing, right? Is this a tree? It, it looks like just a decoration to me. But it could be like a, a vine, I suppose, growing on these, like, arbors, you know? Oh, hello. Wow, look at that, my powerful friends. How amazing. I'm so proud of them. All right, so the city core is going to be up here, which means this is going to be the most difficult path. Up north is where the gas fellow foreman used to live, tended to his flock. Look at this. Wow. This is just, it's a beautiful game. Wait, I thought I could... Ah. There we go. Okay. Ugh. That was a mess. Um, yeah, it looks like vines on a lattice of some sort. It's okay, I'm close to the fountain. Um, so, yeah, it, it seems like vines on a lattice, which the question then, right, does that count as all dress alike. a tree? Probably not. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And there it is. But it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. Yeah, of course it is. A blustery old foreman is keeping his fellas in check. Almost like he's showboating for the crowd. Oh god, I'm stuck in a loop. And now there's a new marshal in town. Oh, they love me. Yay, good. Okay. There we go. He hears the whole place groan, but it's too tough to fall. The it's... kid's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where he started. Cool. That was fun. That was cool. That was that was he comes fun. Back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. The windbags used to be all right. Then the calamity took the floor out from under him. So, like, what? They... That's confusing. What else is there to say? All right, here we go. Here we go. He does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. I want a freaking armory. Although I do need an arsenal, actually. Okay, that's what I want. Yep. The bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. Yeah. No, I definitely want the hammer. And the that, 
And this is actually really nice. Although, secret track that automatically counterblocks all incoming attacks for a short time. Oh, that would be nice too. I definitely like the whirlwind, though. I think that's a good, like, last, you know, like, last minute. Like, everyone's coming at me. I'm about to die. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. We're, we're set, right? Ain't much kid can't handle with hammer and bow in hand. Cool. Picked um, up traces of other cores while the kid was out. Sundown path. The melting pot. We're gonna go to the melting pot. Right, like there's so much text there. I have to wonder if, days, if it means the anything. Pot was sealed tighter than the skin on a squirt. Sealed tighter than the skin on a squirt. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that that's just gonna hurt me, I guess. Oh, that was nice. Okay. Stab weeds. Cuts down every stab weed like there's gonna be a prize for it. Well, is there? If there's a core, he figures it ought to be deeper down. Core stuck inside one of those hey, I was fancy right. cages. The core is here. Ooh, nice. I'll take that. Thank you. Stab weeds. Stabby weeds. It throws a switch. Now what could possibly go wrong? Everything, honestly. Also, I didn't mean to throw the switch. As it turns out, the cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All kid can do Shipments start falling in. Not every score is born bad. Some spring to the kid's defense. Judging by the movement of the cage, it's gonna take a little while. Should have destroyed every stab we'd in here first. Scumbags don't take kindly to hit the first. I'm, I'm really glad that there's so many units helping me on this one because honestly there's no other way that this would be happening why do they keep putting down more stink weeds that's awful st st or st st draw whatever
he's oh hurt, shit. But he's gotta hold out just a little I too bit. use a hammer for gardening. Good. I'm I'm glad to use a hammer for gardening. You should. Everyone should use a hammer for gardening. Give or take a few seconds. Finally, core's within reach. And done. He's got it. Just gotta get to the nearest barge. Some little stuff lying around is downright dangerous. So, will I die if I stay here? Because the implication for some of this, at least at the beginning, was like. If you, if the core doesn't, yeah, I can't leave. I can't get any of the other stuff. Uh, should not go down path of core first. That's interesting. Okay. Well, guess it's time to go. Here we go. Huh. Huh. I still remember the look on his face after that one. What was it, my dear friend? Narrator, what was the look on his face? Who knows? Unknown. Unknown. Just like face down in the grass, that's what the look was, right? The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. So what is this? Like, the Bastion is, like, the new beginning of a city or something? Is that what this is supposed to be? A lot of things need fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. Death 50%, arrows cut, damage over time. It packs a special surprise in every one of those arrows. Folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. So eventually we're gonna have like three more places over here on the right. Maybe that'll happen with the next core? Who knows? I guess I'll find out. I guess I'll find out. This is interesting. I am enjoying this game quite a bit. Um, it feels like there's a certain, uh, it feels like there's a certain, hi Emily. Um, it, it does, it feels like there's a, it, I, no going, use going back there now that the pace is clicked clean, but it's not. I think what's interesting is that one of the, one of the things that's interesting is the most difficult, one of the most impactful choices, arguably, that I can see so far in this game, is choosing different paths at the locations that you go to. Right, because there were like three other different paths or so there that, at that melting pot that I could have gone down and I could have, you know, gotten some cool shit from those paths. But not right now. Anyway. OK, so here's what's going to happen. I am going to uh, shift tab there. And I'm going to. Um, Take a quick break, um, cause I want to, um, get a drink of water and 
stretch my hands from all this gameplay. Ugh. Gaming. Ooh, woo, indeed. Um, ooh, woo to M as well. Uh, so, so I will be back in a short minute. Yes, I need to rehydrate, um, as opposed to dehydrate. Um, so that is good. Uh, so I will be back in a short min minute, and then I will play more levels like that, unless, uh, people have strong feelings and would like me to do something else. Um, but I'm kind of enjoying this game. Um, uh, yeah. So... We'll see ya in a minute. Dehydrate. That is what you do. Um, be right back. Oh, also, hey, guess what? Aaron. I got new glasses. So that's exciting. That's, 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 that's what I got. They're new glasses. That's, that's good. That's good. Okay. Be right back. See y'all in a second.
Hello, hello, hello. What's up, everyone? My name is Rose. Once again, hello, welcome again. We are playing Bastion. Okay. Um, having fun with this. Thank you for break time. We did break time. I got hydrated. I did a little bit of stretching. So that's good. Um... Well, I should really, maybe I should really, like, you know, I could really, like, if I, if I pushed it, right, I could really channel, like, Jacksepticeye levels on that, on that welcome back, you know. What's up, everyone? Welcome back, you know, but that, I feel like I'd be yelling. Also, he has this, like, this voice that just, ooh, it's good. Anyway, not as good, though, as the narrator in this game, I do have to say, ooh. Right? Smooth. That smooth stuff. Okay, so here we go. We are back. We are back in Bastion. I could go the Velvety Narrator route. Okay, here. Um, <clears throat> just a second. Uh, trying to get the mic closer to me. There we go. <clears throat> Hello everyone. Welcome to Bastion. Sorry, um Bastion. The um incredible game. It has a great deal of well-made mechanics. Um and lots of really beautiful art. Um if you look at the art in this game, you'll notice that it often has um, lots of swirls in it, which is just gorgeous, I think. Something that not many people use in the way that Supergiant has done in this game. So, if you'll just join me for a moment, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next level. The swirls in this game will hopefully make more of a comeback as we continue on through the levels of Bastion. So again, my name is Rose. Thank you for joining me on our Swirls adventure in Bastion. Please make sure to follow using the button above me. That's my little plug. Now let's move on. I feel, I really need to, I, like, it would be, you know, like, but I need to get this closer to me, but that is, well, ooh, I might be able to, mm, this is not meant to do it like that. Also, then it, it blocks my, my hand. Uh... It will probably be fine. If you can avoid skipping it, I would recommend not skipping it. Um, even if it's just brief, and even if it's just to try and relax that muscle as much as possible, that should be good. But, but I, I mean, you know, I'm, I, you'll, you'll probably be fine either way. Uh, come on, can I? Ooh, can this hold up? I don't think it has the friction to be able to do that. This mic boom is not, not quite where, where we want it. Although I can, right, if I, I come over here, right, I'll be a little bit more to the side, but then we can welcome everyone. So as I move forward in this game of Bastion, next level is the Sundown Path. There's a core detected here, and it should be along this precarious walkway. Be careful up there. I'm going to click the fly button. Uh, 
the of I don't know that much about anatomy. The PC muscle is the part uh I think it's that first bit. It's your pelvic floor. It's I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. Maybe if you... Yeah, that, that sounds about right. And it's the top of that. No, sorry. The top is... I, you know, Dia, I don't actually know. I know what you're talking about, but I, I don't actually know which one is which. Um, I don't think it's necessarily... Yeah, it, so it's, it's... I don't know which one is which. And I don't know which one you're supposed to be trying to work on, honestly. Um, because the top... Above that, yeah, within that ridge is your pelvic bone, right? So I don't know how much you want to press on. If, if, here's, here's what I'll say. Yeah. Um, no one covers, no one covers good pelvic floor anatomy. Well, not no one, but. I would, anyway, um, uh, here's what I would say, Dia, is probably. If you can get the bottom part to be loose enough, like, and, and, you know, I wouldn't work on necessarily the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, here, let me look it up. I don't know. I don't know. Google pelvic floor. Pelvic floor is a whole group of muscles. Huh. Okay, I lied. It's not a bone. I don't know what I'm talking about. It looks like the whole the whole region there is Yeah, I They're pretty vague most of them. But it looks like the whole region there is your pelvic floor muscles. So it should be maybe it's both. Diagram, pelvic floor diagram. Uh Yeah, I don't really get this. I'll be honest. I don't understand. I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, I just know what I do. Lower abs, pelvic floor, then the deep six. Um, so normally what I do is I go up, but 
I don't know if there's a preferred, like if, if you should be doing one way or the other is what I'm saying. I don't know. You know, like, uh, I, and I think here's here's what I'll say is if you can, like, when you're dilating, if you can get some fingers in there, right, I don't think, I think it's more important to have a regular schedule of having that opening as its entirety kind of relax as opposed to a specific part of it, right? Well, that's, that, and that's, that's fine. So I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if there's a, a specific region you should be working on. Again, like your information was, was just as incomplete as mine, which is really frustrating. Um, yeah. Yeah. If if the top isn't relaxing at all, then 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 I, I would say just just work on relaxing the entire circumference. As in, if the top isn't working, do the bottom, right? But I think that the issue that you want to be careful of is is I know that you know doing the bottom, pushing pushing on the bottom is not what you want, right? Pushing on the bottom is not what you want because if you push on the bottom too much, there is especially Maybe, you know, not so bad this, you're farther on in the healing process, so it's probably not so bad, but if you're pushing on the bottom, you're getting, you know, there's the potential of, like, uh, 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 breaking the, the vaginal wall, which you do not want, right? But you're far along in, enough in the healing that I don't think that'll be an issue anyway. Like, that definitely won't be an issue. Um, uh, I guess I'm just, you know, afraid of that because they... they taught me to be afraid of that because like when you're starting dilation, you should be afraid of that. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I, yeah, sorry. I don't really know. Uh, I don't, I don't think there is a, my, my instinct on this is that there is not necessarily a preferred direction, especially at this point in your healing. Right. Um, so if the top isn't working, just be gentle and like work more on not massaging a specific part of it, but just letting it acclimatize to having something in there, I guess. But I really don't know. Sorry. Um... Yeah, let me know if you have any other questions. I wish I could answer that better. Okay, we are playing game. Go right over here, get in a core. Gaining experience levels raises maximum health. Couples used to walk the sundown path. Kid ain't here for pleasure, though. Damn right I'm not. Ooh, the bull's door opens for me. Now, admittedly, right, the thing that frustrates me about... Um, uh, you know, like, going to places like this is that I'm gonna want to get the new... Uh, I'm gonna want to get the new fragging frickin' frack blah. I'm gonna want to get the new weapon or something like that, right? But, if there is a new weapon. But, at this point, if I get a new weapon, then I'm gonna have to deal with using that new weapon, which is fine, I guess. It's just not ideal. Because I like my hammer. Oops. Oops. Somebody gets to the core before the kid. Oh no. Oh no. The floor starts giving way under the lightest step. A single panic squirt could 
bring the whole place down. Friends of the old world, they hate this guy. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. This is going to be interesting. Dang it. Uh, I can't just go around and... Okay, this is interesting. I, I did not expect this level to be so... This is... Oh, fun! There we go. Gotta get those reflex. Bam, bam, bam. Come on, reflect. Come on, reflect. Nice. Yes. Well, if we mastered the winds in the old days, uh, oh, we can do it again. Yay, Aaron's got a bunch of suggestions. Oh no, no, I keep falling. That's sad. The core is gone. That was an interesting ship live munitions down the path. Yes. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Ah.
I would definitely call the help us. Toil, kid keeps coming back to an overwhelming what? Question. What happened? Who else could have survived the calamity? Yeah, no, that's a real question. No, yeah, yeah, that's makes sense. It sounds very frustrating. So he didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. I'm always going to turn this we one. Much for pleasantries. I always want the whirlwind, obviously. Um, huh. I was not expecting the level to be that quick. Okay. Um, I want to read this. Yeah. No. No, my mouse is in the wrong position. Ah, uh, no. This is not okay. Oh wait, it's back. Okay, that's no, okay, I'm, I'll accept this. Mouse alignment. Yeah, it's not misalignment, it's mouse alignment. Hopefully it doesn't um, really screw me up as I go. Oh well, we shall see. We're going to the, the Hanging dead. Gardens. Welcome him with open arms. Oh. No. No, that's sad. I just landed in the ashes of the dead people. Ugh. Don't welcome me with open arms. They just are the dead. Th took everybody after all. Kid sees a plane, frozen faces all around. Oh no. This is really sad. I like how the music reflects the mood right now, but holy shit. Look at all these people. You know, okay, they do a really clever job of like using assets in here in different ways because literally everything in this scene is just recolored versions of everything else that we've seen already, which, which is fantastic. Like, you know, this is, I think, proof that, you know, stuff like music and the coloring of scenes. You know, the, the changing the music and changing the color scheme of things like this can can be a, a simple change. It does not cost much dev work, but really, you know, emphasizes the feeling of the place that you're working with. Oh, 
Okay, here, I have a question, though. Were these dead people here before I walked in? If my city crest on my back, right, is what brings all of this up and, just, you know, puts it into place, was this platform here and were these dead people on it? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. That's all I want to know. It was someone. Someone like me, oh. Are you alive? Are you, there's a city crest and a hand there. Are you alive? I'm gonna rage a bit. A, game in the flesh. a what? It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop, no matter what. He's got some many questions. I could have handled that better. Oh well. <laughs> that was a little bit messy. <laughs> Just like, ah, oh, you know, shift, shift, shift. We'll make it work. Oh my gosh, look at all these people. This is really sad. They never saw what it was like beyond the walls. I was promised a happy game. Bird boy? Why? Oh gosh, bird boy. Oh no, oh no, I just stomped on the birds! No! The birds are dead! Because of me! No, can I make it over there? I just don't want to hurt the bird boy, you know? Like, the game was setting me up to have to go through the bird boy. I don't want to go through the bird boy. That's mean. Oh, thank God it wasn't setting me up for that. The Jawsons. They didn't make it. Holy Grady shit. Senior, Grady Jr. They didn't make it. But him, he survived. Kid just rages for a while. You know? I love that line. Kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. Just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? Huh. Oh, that's the core. Oh, rude. Are you gonna... As well. I have to kill the people around it. I'm not doing that yet. I mean, I'm not... I'm, I, I mean, it seems like inevitably I'm going to be forced to. That is... That is rude. Okay, thanks. Random money hey you moved okay there wasn't any other path though was there I don't know I don't think there was I think this is the only path we could have gone down okay random sky money best money yeah random sky money best money I can't go past here without Okay, I do love that even though after I go in, like, all these, all these, all the blocks are loaded in, but then the plants, like, come up. It's great. Okay, but... Why? 
Oh, good. I... What do you say to a man who's seen too much? Uh. The kid hasn't a clue, but he says this. We uh, have to go. Yeah. Please. We do. Oh, nice. Oh, good. That's like kind of hopeful, I guess, right? He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No He's so cute. Nearer. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. Okay, uh, his character model, I do not like. But the drawings they've done of this c character, he's really cute. Like, like, like really cute. I like him. Like, oh, dang, like cute. You know? I don't mean like cute, like, I mean, I don't mean like, you know, kawaii. I mean like, like, cute. Huh. Oh, Rux, thank God. Yeah, not just stranger anymore. Uh, come on, give the little tiger break. Why? Just a little bit, everything's broken. Zulf. He was born at the Tazel Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city, and he's lived here ever since. For Zulf, Ceylandia was like his second home. He's real worried about his first home, too. Yeah. To the east. That makes sense. That you would be worried about your second home. Well, that that was cool. Hey, there we go. Here's our second section. Hey, remember, that's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be all right. I mean, I, I knew the second side would have a thing, right? Well, look what we have here. Building a memorial. A memorial. Here, yeah, kid can pay respect to the old world and earn it in kind. The valediction. Just another one of my sketches. Nothing more. Oh, nice. Oh, these are cool. These are like little like achievements. Oh, wow, these are cool. These are really cool. I I like this. This feels like a It, 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 this 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 feels like both achievement but like also lorey like just the way this is set up is is beautiful also also the artist got to do some express what happened but they're all I got some random you know awesome drawings also you don't just have words you have fucking cool ass art since when could we ask for more honestly Uh, we're going out. We're hitting the skyway. Cores near the edge of the city. P 
Pith Orchard. Pith Orchard. Cinderbrick Fort. I don't know which one should I do. Um, kind of want to do the fort. I want to do the fort. Here we go. I I want this to be a, a real script. There's only one way to sit a brick fort. The <laughs> hard way. Okay, that was fun. That was that was badass. Sure, the city marshals may be gone, but now the fort's crawling with big bags. Wind bags. I love that he calls them that. Look, like, so here's the thing, right? Is that. What they did here I I just love the the way every every asset in this is reused so many times. The calamity was mercy of the normal folks. The windbags ain't so lucky. So what happened to them? Sure, I'll take that. I don't know what just happened. That was, that was bad. Uh, ooh. That was a fun little challenge. The the bolts followed. It follows. I will smash random things. Huh. What is with that sound? Why can't I hit it? Why can't I hit it? I don't understand why I can't hit it. Maybe I was aiming at the wrong spot? Good thing they don't. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? What was that? Oh, damn it. I fell. That was me falling. And now I have less health. Lovely. Okay. Oh, shit. Take that. Thank you. Windbags, young and old. Ooh, a new weapon. 
Sure. At least the marshals let me hear a pardon give. Something the windbags just can't handle. Something that'll punch clean through the greasy hides. Oh. Okay, I love Hanzo, but that's nice. Yeah, you know, I might be killing, you know, sentient creatures, which is not a great feel ever. I really want to make more games and, like, find more games that just don't use violence. Right, especially because they say things like that. Like, it's, it's windbags are just like normal folks, right? Like, how like normal folks are they? Because they clearly have feelings and they clearly can think. Okay, this weapon is really fun. Yeah, that's, that's slightly upsetting. Or like potentially upsetting at the very least. Which like, you know, it can be a useful element to add to a game, I think, for sure. But like, you know, violence is definitely... Although I I do like I do like aiming I do like aiming and I can't aim you know. Windbags can't use martial supplies, but a kid sure can. Uh. This is fun, though you know. Thanks, dear. Cinderbrick gave him enough heat and metal to munch on for a while. Well, the fort ain't theirs, am I right? Can't blame them for wanting it, though. But it's like, uh, they're like driven to insanity or dri no, no, I mean, I don't like that implication. But obviously, you know. Yeah. Oh no, no. I mean, please, please don't spoil it. I'm sure I'll find out eventually, and that's part of the fun, I guess. Um, but um, you know, but yeah, it's um, this is a fascinating. Oh, I can hammer shots away.
Oh, yeah, level three. Nice. Gotta like hold it weirdly on to. to get that to the 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 counter to work. Yeah, I agree. Thank you for dropping Please, you think I'm gonna come close to that thing? I know this is the more boring version, but go get die. Spec Ops line. No, I have not. I have heard about it, especially in terms of its ludonarrative dissonance and how well it does that. Or something like that. I mean, actually, yeah, I am. I'm. I'm. That's why I'm staying back. So, why is it a good game, and why will you never play it again? Because I'm curious about that. That is an interesting take on it. Wow, this thing jumps. Pack up the line. No, go for it. The only reason I'm like, nah, no spoilers for Bastion is mostly because I'm, oh fuck, <laughs> because I'm playing it right now, and it's something I definitely fuck. <laughs> there we go again, falling off the ledge. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. But I have to break all these hay bales, you know? I just have to. I know there's no reason to. I understand that. But why would I not? Riddle me this, Batman. Kid used to dream of getting the Marshal's badge, but not like this. Here we go. Now ain't nothing left for nobody down at Cinderbrook Fort. Nothing left for nobody. 
<laughs> Number 74. Kid shows up just as Zolf's telling me about his own journey to the city. The marshal seemed like good man, he says. They treated him with dignity. There's that swirly again. It's everywhere. And then there's something about, like, if you kill people that something bad happens or something. Zolf brought his antique smoking pipe all the way from the terminals. Seems the only thing the calamity saved for Zolf was his smoking pipe. Poor kid collapses after just one drag. <laughs> Good thing ever come out of the past is history. Who? Oh. Oh, this is fun. Say he's led a hard life. Supposing what he says in his sleep ain't no lie. Come on. Let's um let's survive this maybe. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I want to I want to read what you're saying right now. So here we go. 
character's desire to be a hero gets them to do more and more atrocious things, the most infamous of which is using white phosphorus on civilians. Lovely. Your character loses grip on reality as you go on, including full-on hallucinations that you, the player, don't realize until after the fact by the end. It's very clear what is reality anymore. The only thing that's clear is that you are now the villain. Your original mission was just to do recon, but because you try to play hero, you end up killing the entire city. Ah. But, like... From what I recall of p what people have told me about it, it... I don't know, that's that's interesting. Thanks to folks like the kid, the walls kept Ceylonia safe from whatever's out there. The elements, the aura, you name it. done his time, he hurried on home. Turns out his mama's time was done too. Okay, we gotta... Oh fuck, there's holes now. There's more and more holes. Fuck. This is tough. It's an endurance battle. Shit. In the history of Ceylandia, nobody's ever volunteered for a second shift on the walls. Okay, we're going back to the Bastion. That is not very fun to watch, I imagine, because I'm so focused in on what the game is doing that I can't talk at all <laughs> or chat with you. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Huh. Huh. So we're not going to do that. Kept the city's peace. They can rest easy now. Even since the Ura surrendered to us, the marshals have <sighs> a wary eye on him. 
Yeah. It sounds like it. I mean, like if if you were making a game like that, yeah, no, that it sounds like it. Um, which which is interesting. You know, in many ways, yeah, it sounds yeah. I think here's the thing, right? Is that I'd much rather have more games that make you feel good for doing good things than games that make you feel bad for doing bad things. But, I don't know, that sounds like an interesting take, you know, I mean... Oh, do I have a core? I guess I do. Souls travels ain't much compared to what the kids had to go through for all this. Yeah, kid takes fragments of the old world and makes them whole again. The glass and stripe to the air, fuzzy flavor. Oh, okay. We can buy materials. We can buy uh, portable. T Stuff. All it takes is some fragments, and the bastion makes it good as new. Yeah. Um. Okay. Interesting. Uh. What I'd really like to see. Is if there's something new over here. Because I do have a new level. There's not something new. Uh... Yeah. Next door side will toughen you right up. Too bad about the musty aftertaste. We all lost loved ones in the calamity, he says. I don't know how I'm gonna go. That makes sense. That makes sense. Zolf offers to help me plot the skyways for the kid. At least the calamity hasn't touched the stars, he says. Nah, that's all I got. Um, but I can, I can um, get more r ones restored over here, the lost and found, which should help a bit. Right, because I can go down here and get some of these. But there's, I, I wonder if there's one that, because what I'd really like, what would really be great, is if I'm going for the Hanzo combo, which is, you know, the, the breaker bow and the shield and stuff and, like, just working with those. If I'm going for that combo, then I do need, uh, then I need, um, I'd really like to have one that makes you walk faster when you are shooting the bow. Cause I have one that makes you walk faster when you are, um, uh, holding the shield. Um, plus 25% damage using secret skills plus two health tonic capacity. Now that sounds good. I could use that. I could retaliate when injured. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. It'd be really nice if there was. Oh yeah. Wait, that's not what I want. Okay. Can't do any more upgrades right now, but I can get items to do upgrades. Just rolling around everywhere. Plus 25% draw speed, plus two target penetrations per shot.
Okay, oh, well, we have like all the different uh, practice areas now. I do want to practice my shield thing, so I'm going to practice my shield thing a bit. The accused always got a fair shake in Zelandia. Some used to take the bullhead trial. Survive the trial without taking a scratch, and walk away a free man. Like right there, no. Like ah, uh, it's right when they start to swing the hammer down. Ooh, dang. There we go, counter. Dang it. Well, that wasn't great, but you know, I see how that could be useful. Yeah. Well, a kid always wanted to compete in the bullhead trial. Grave of the Fireflies is the um. What is it? Is that the um the Ghibli piece? If I recall correctly. Okay. Well, here's what I'm thinking. Yeah. 
I try to let the kid down gently. This is the bastion, all right. Except no one else showed up. We could always see the stars. We just never could reach them, no matter how high we built. No matter how high we built. Seriously, this little swirly motif is in everything. Okay. Got one more building to make in there. Then maybe the bastion will expand further or something? I don't know. Probably not. Okay. Um, yeah, that no, that sounds about right. I think... No, I just went in normal mode, actually. Okay. <laughs> can make I can make the kid go up and down. Okay, anyway. I think I'm going to exit out of that. And uh, it's, you know, pretty late. Um... I think I want to try playing like a couple minutes of this game. Um, cause I'd. Uh, come on. How do I make you full screen? Full screen on. Okay. So this is uh this is a game I don't remember how I got it. Anyway, we're gonna try it. It's a cute little game. I wanna play this. Anyway, hello. So I'm, I'm I wanna play this, so I'm gonna play this today. Welcome to one shot. Oh, can't do that. Can't do the ASMR thing too long. I'm, I think I'm gonna get this out of my way. Ugh. You know, ASMR is all fine and dandy, but the fact of the matter is, I also don't want to break this setup. Um, so, so we're gonna do that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I have never watched Grave of the Fireflies, and I don't know if I want to, because that sounds like. A lot. Sounds like a lot to work through. Okay, we're gonna start this. Cute. Oh, okay. Sounds like I should go into windowed mode. Hello? There's a TV remote here. Ooh woo. Yeah, that makes sense. Nico picks it up. A soft glowing light trickles through the window. Dusty books. It's too dark to read in here. Input password. Uh, access denied. Okay. Nico just woke up here. I guess we go outside. The door is locked. Huh. Always good trying one, two, three, four. Access denied. Ah, dang it. Uh. 
Huh. What? <laughs> what am I doing in this game? <laughs> Dusty books. It's too dark to read in here. I can't get out. Wait, wait. I need to... Uh, yeah, I need to get out of this game. I need to exit this game. I can't do that right now because it's not letting me. Okay. Okay, there we go. I'm going to keep this in windowed mode because it seems like that's the way it wants it. But also, I can't make it any bigger. Uh, maybe I should make it full screen. I'm going to quit it, restart it. Maybe I, I don't know, maybe I should do full screen. Nico feels uneasy. Hello? Ooh, ooh. Nico feels... Travel note settings. Wait, I don't even know how I got here. Yeah, we're gonna keep it in, in windowed mode. Can't I, I, oh, ah, there's a door there, okay. A withered plant sits here, stiff and dry. A branch snaps off. Ah, I have a branch now. There's no need to do anything else to it. Hey, look, it's me. A pair of luminous yellow eyes stares back at Nico. There's no water in the toilet. The tub won't run. So I have a branch. Maybe I can use it to what? Yellow, luminous yellow eyes stares back at Nico. Uh, I have no idea. What? How am I supposed to play this game? I need help. I need help. I am not quite this good at this game. I <laughs> cannot simply find my way around games. Oh, I'm not playing Bastion anymore. I should update it. Should update my page because I'm not playing Bastion anymore. Playing one shot. Um. Huh. A, B, oh, X and Z, examine and select, walk arrows, walk faster, shift, menu A, okay. I can interact with you know like this would be the point in the video where uh, like you know any youtuber 
would cut it and say, hey, I'm gonna, well, I'll be back, you know, in a bit after futzing around with this. I have no idea what I'm supposed to clip, click in this. Apparently my name is Nico, though. That's, that's good to know. And I'm supposed to input a password. And I'm like, I don't know. How high does it go? Just a nine. It's not going to be any of these. It's... And I, I'm trying to see. I don't think I can see any numbers or anything on this. Nico speaks in third person. Nico does speak in third person. Do you have a problem with Nico speaking in third person? Nico is pretty great. Nico sees a soft, glowing light trickling through the window. Um, uh, uh, is it in a book? Well, so I, I, I'm looking over here, dusty books. It's too dark to read in here. So that's what I was thinking, right? It's like, okay, maybe the password is in one of the books. But if the password is in one of the books that I need light to be able to read the books. Or to get light to read the books, maybe there's something I can do with the window. Uh, but I don't know. It's locked. Which is interesting. Uh, so I don't... I don't know what to do. This is the only text that's yellow on the entire thing, except for the password bit. Right? None of the rest of it is. There's like some, some different grays, right? So, so there's something that tells me that the, the, the luminous yellow eyes has something to do with this. There are two of them under a rug. I don't know if I can interact with the rugs. I'm trying to interact with with what appears to be rugs. Nope, that's the only text with color. Except for except for I suppose this one, which is like a gray color. A pair of luminous yellow eyes. Eyes, maybe. E Y E S. Uh, E-Y-E-S is going to be, um, what? What would that be? Um, a, well, Y wouldn't be a number that you could put in there. Because Y is higher than 10, obviously. So, I, I don't know. Yeah, there's a pair of yellow eyes, but there's nothing green. Nothing red. There's nothing blue. So I don't know. It seems like you repeat interacting things to get different results. Yes, that is the case. But I, I, I've not been able to get anything different from the things that I can interact with now. You know, I think it depends on like what you've collected, right? Uh, hmm. The toilet just says no water in the toilet. Yeah, I've I've tried everything. I do not know. I mean, obviously I haven't tried everything because there's there's a solution to this. The game is not these two rooms. There is a there is a there is a way out of here. Um
Yeah, it seems like they are. Because I can't walk... Nope. I can't walk... into them or, or interact with them, though. Trying to interact with them. Nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Uh... Doesn't seem like there's any other doors. Anything in notes? Uh, nope, that's controls. Explore and interact with the environment and character. Sometimes you may find an item. Once you've picked up an item, you may select it from your inventory. Ah. Uh, that, thank you. Uh, inventory S. Aha! These can't be combined. No, that's not gonna change anything there. Maybe the stick changes the window? Wait, do I have the, the thing equipped now? Yes, I do. No. Huh. Yeah. In the faint light, Nico can glimpse the face of the remote. Ah. All of the numbers except four, two, six, and eight are missing. So four is red, two is blue, six is yellow, and eight is green. Four is red, two is blue, six is yellow, and eight is green. Hey! Okay, you found me. Why? It's already too late. Not much of the world remains. This will be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Then remember this. Your actions here will affect Nico. Oh god, uh, breaking the fucking fourth wall. Rude. Your mission is to help Nico leave. And most importantly, you have only one shot. Oh shit, this is meta. And I love it. Nico hears the sound of a door unlocking. I see why it's played best in windowed mode. Uh, here, I can, um, I can, I can make, uh, let's see, we can add, Yeah, that seems to be the case. I only have one shot. I can save, but I cannot go back and load saves.
Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Okay. Well, this will be interesting. Um. Okay. Nico hears the sound of a door unlocking. No, I didn't want to do that. Uh, sorry. Okay. Wow, that's no pressure at all. Hello? Anyone? The TV gives off a dangerous looking spark. The wood in the fireplace looks like it was never used. Uh, yeah, sure. Perhaps it could be lit. Use the branch on the TV. Oh, spark. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, nice idea. Thank you. Uh, wait, that's not what I was trying to do. I was trying to do this. This. Nico readies the branch. Doesn't manage to light. Huh. Closing the game kills Nico, but sleeping at the bed closes the game safely. Yeah, I was thinking of doing that too. Thank you for that info. That is important. The sink won't turn on. Just a table. Inside the refrigerator is a bottle of alcohol. Nico takes it. Oh no. There we go. Yep. The flames are dim but comforting. That that was cute, that was clever. I can't get out this door. And there's another door over here that has a um Use the lit branch to read a book. Oh, I can, yeah, I can read a book by the, by the light of the thing. Probably. I don't know if I still have the lit branch. No, I don't. Something on the ground glimmers in the firelight. It appears to be a small metallic object wedged into a crack in the floor. Nico digs it out. Basement key. Can I not use it on this? Ah, there's the basement. Uh, 
I don't like the sound of the music all of a sudden. Oh, hey, I need that. Oh, this is important. I have a light now. Nico has a light now. Oh, this is really cute. Look at this, look at this. Look at this precious child. Look at this precious boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Actually, I, I'm not sure that I want to, that's B-O-I for the record. I am not sure I want to assign a gender to Nico. Um, yeah, it is definitely book time because I got this globe of light. Precious friend. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Ad infinitum. Uh, oh wait, is there, is there, is there more? Is that it? I can't. I think that's it. Really? It won't turn on. That's funny. It turned on before. Huh, and the sound changed. But also, um... How is this not, what? Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, light bulb, a large light bulb, it's the sun. It's the sun. Okay. So there's a thing glowing on here, right? And it's the same shape as the shape in that door. So I'm thinking they're connected in some way, but I can't figure out exactly what that would be. Perhaps I can do this, or not that. Do this and do this. Yep, and then just do this and. Wow. Nico is such a precious person. Such a precious friend. I love them. I love Nico so much. Ah, yes. I can put the sun in this door. Huh? Um... Look at this precious child. Look at this precious friend. Look at them. Look at them! So precious! Ah! Fast travel. You can quickly travel to the locations you've already visited by selecting the fast travel option in the menu. The default key for opening the menu is A. Fast travel cannot be used indoors. What's left of a robot? A robot, it no longer has power. Huh. This is really fascinating. Oh, I'm certain the fact that it is the sun will be important.
effect. I think it's like kind of the, it seems like it's kind of the main point of the game. What? Oh, okay, it's like a different region. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. It's just loading in different regions. This is really cute and very precious. Ah! That light bulb, you are here! M me? Yes! Welcome to our world, friend! I am most humbled by your presence! Yes! Uh, thanks? Uh, um, sorry. I'm a little lost. All right, allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you arrived here? I'm not sure. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh, so you woke up in an unfamiliar dark location. Yeah. Just as my prophecy foretold, yes. You are the savior we have been waiting for. You will be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. Wow, no pressure, right? <laughs> um. I will now provide you with vital information. Please ask me anything. This is an AMA for the robot. Uh, well, um, can you tell me about... Uh... I'm not sure where I am exactly. I can't see too far off. Everything's so dark. Our world was not always this dim, nor was it so broken. But time waits for nobody, not even saviors. The world is divided into three regions. You're on the fringe right now, the barons. That tower you see in the distance once held our sun, Oh, so that's what the tall thing was. As you go further towards the center, you will cross the other regions. There should be a map still in this outpost somewhere. Ooh. Uh, can you tell me about... This light bulb. I found it in the house I woke up in. Within your hands is our new sun. Your... sun? Yes. Years ago, our previous sun sat atop that tower and spilled its life into the land. But one day, the light went out. Oh. The world is still hanging on by a thread. The surface of this world is abundant with an element called phosphor. Fortunately for us, this element stored light energy from our previous sun. Now it's our only source of illumination but its energy is finite. When the last of the light dies, our world will too. Uh. But now that you are here with the new sun, all is well. You will need to restore it to the tower. That looks pretty far off. Yes. So begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile, so be careful. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Oh, I should break it. <laughs> oh. Can you tell me about the computer? In the house, I found this computer. It kept saying stuff like, Your actions here will affect Nico, but I'm Nico. Are those messages meant for someone else? Wow, breaking the fourth fucking wall. Hmm. <laughs> If I had to guess, they might be trying to pass the message to game. Game? Ah, that would be our god. I think there was a name input that I missed somewhere. I feel like there was a name input that I missed somewhere. Because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be saying the player's name. But something... Oh! It's accessing the name on... Um, uh, I know what it's doing. I know what it's doing. It's ask as accessing, um, uh, here, let me, let me switch this out. I can, I can s make this done pretty quick. I can change this. Um, 
um, it, it's accessing the username that I have set up on the computer right now. But the username that I have set up on the computer right now is is game design because, well, um, uh, that's what it's used for. Eventually, not just by me, but right now it's just by me. Oh, I don't think I can edit the name. Uh, enhanced options. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it. You know, their god is game. That's how it is now. They'll have to deal it. Deal with it. Okay. Ah, uh, that would be our god. If you are here, that means game is here also. Game will provide guidance for your journey. In fact, they already have... R really? I haven't seen anyone, though. Have you not contacted game yet? I don't think so. Being the bringer of our son, you have the sacred ability to communicate directly with game. An ability that no one else possesses, certainly not I. Please close your eyes and focus. All right. <gasps> Nico's staring directly at me. Hello? G game? Are you there? I'm glad that they have this option. Oh, uh, well, what is your name then? That's that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, press X to delete characters. Okay. No, actually. Um, nice to meet you, Yari. <laughs> Self-insert. Um, my name is Nico. I actually heard someone. They said their name is Yari, though. This is incredible. It seems the recorded name was incorrect. Updating database. Hmm? Update complete. Do not be afraid to ask Yari for assistance. You are the messiah after all. Can you tell me about going home? Uh, I don't mean to be rude, but I, I'm i not sure about this. Thanks, dear. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago, and now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world. Just as my mission is to tell you about our world. I am um, I'm unable to help you beyond my programming. I am sorry. Oh. I think that's all I have to ask for now. Oh, you know what would be really fun is if I did, um, um, yeah, Nico's definitely a kid. You know, it'd be really fun is if I could practice and if I could do my, um, uh, the, the, the inhale voice, the, um, uh, um, what is it? Excellent. 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 Hello. Is it a nice I can't do that very well. Isn't it nice to have a computer that can talk to you? It's like the old, um, you know. Isn't it nice to have a computer that can... I can't do that very long. Isn't it nice to have a computer that can talk to you? Excellent. 
Excellent. There we go. <laughs> I think that's what I'm doing from now on. I wish. Well, sorry. <laughs> I wish you good luck. Hello again. Are there more questions you wish to ask? It's all right. Thank you. In that case, I wish you safe travels. Ah, uh, God, that's hard to do. <laughs> I wish you. <laughs> that's really hard to do. I wish. <laughs> I wish you safe travels. I wish. I wish. That's really hard. That's really difficult. Okay. Hey, okay. So I'm gonna, because if I close out the game, uh, Nico dies. I don't want that. Hey, hello, hello, hello. Uh, this game is called One Shot. Welcome. My name is Rose. Welcome to the stream. It's a lot of fun. Um, I am gonna be probably going to bed soon because ah, it's late. Um, uh, this game is called One Shot, and it is a, a kind of a puzzle game, it seems like, in which um, uh, it, it breaks the fourth wall a lot. Um, so, like, it d just did this thing where um, the robot that I was talking to, um, or that Nico, this character, this precious, precious child, this precious friend, precious friend named Nico, um, uh, talked to this robot who was like, oh, hey, you know, Yari is our god, you know, talking about me, Yari, Rose, you know, and so it was like, ah, uh, you know, it breaks the fourth wall a lot, and then there was like this thing inside this place, which I just came from, where, um, where like, there was a computer that said, uh, I only get one shot, and like, I have to watch that my actions, because my actions inform, that my actions will determine Nico's life, and then I only get one shot at this game, which is interesting. So like the idea, it's called one shot because like you get one shot, right? You, it's, it, you know, despite the fact that the aesthetic is very similar to Undertale, uh, and there, the save component is very like Undertale. Yes. The aesthetic, the save component is very like Undertale, right? Where, where the game will be conscious of you know, it, the game knows where you are saving, where you are not, and, 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 like, uses that, you know? Um, so it's, it's not like a regular save system. Um, so yeah, in that sense, it is, it, it is Undertale-esque. Um, it's very meta. There's a couple of, there's a quite a few under, uh, other indie games that I've played that have similar ideas, right? Um, uh, uh, Pony Island is actually a really good one that I was uh, thinking of playing today, but I, I'm not going to. Um, so that's interesting. You know, there's 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 a lot of oh hello, new character. That means I have to come up with a new voice. Um, hello. Uh -huh. Yari, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, good. There's a robot here attached to a boat. It doesn't seem to have power, and its joints are rusted over as well. No, the oh, sorry. So, the, so the premise uh, is that uh, uh, there's this this world, and um, um, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know the like deep lore or anything like that. You know, I, I guess we'll find out together. You know, I'm not honestly sure what's going on exactly. Um, I woke up in this world, uh, I was told by that one robot that um, they used to have a sun that was atop a large tower, and then the sun went out, and now I'm here with the new sun, and this light bulb that I'm carrying, that Nico, sorry, that Nico is carrying is the new sun, and their, their, prof, their, their destiny, as it were, is to, you know, put the sun atop the tower and relight the world, so. Um, it doesn't seem to have power, and its joints are rusted over as well. It's the CTA? What do you, what, what do you mean, CTA? But, but I think we should be able to fix it. After all, we'll need to cross this ocean to get to the tower. 
Okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. So there's got to be something we can pick up to fix that robot. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know. I, yeah, I didn't have to do a voice because the, the, there was another robot that I talked to. Here, I'll show you. Did you see the other robot? So there's like a bunch of dead robots hanging out all over the place. Like these, these robot, these are robot corpses. A deep powered robot, you know, that I'm passing. A robot. It's beyond repair. It's pretty sad. Ah, well, let me show you. In just a moment. I get to do my, um, my, uh, my weird, this one. So I get to do my weird voice again. Hello again. <laughs> That's not very good, sorry. Hello, hello again. <laughs> I was doing a different voice earlier. I was doing a voice more like, are there any more questions you wish to ask? But then I was like, you know, I could just do the old like computer speech, uh, type to speech the voices. Are there any more questions? Sorry. <sighs> That's difficult. Are there? Shit, that's really hard. Are there any more questions that you wish to ask? <laughs> I have friends. My brother's really good at it, and I, I have an uncle who's, like, on point with that voice, but I am eh, not very good at that one. Yeah. Go on, then. Ask away. That's not how a computer would say that, but... <laughs> You are my uncle. Congratulations. Ah, yes. Um, can you tell me about the tower? Uh, how tall is it? I, I can't seem to even see the top. I am not allowed to answer. But how do I get up there? In time. Yari will know what to do. That's really hard to do. I see. Well, do I had more questions. Oh. Hello again. Are there more questions? That's tough. Uh, I'll, I'll, this, this is my chance to practice it, right? Are there more questions? Are there more questions you wish to ask? That was better. Mm hmm Go on then, ask away. Um, can you tell me about the barons? It's so empty here. That's why it's called the barons. That's why it's called the barons. That's better. I'm trying to, yeah, I need to stop. The, 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 the voice tone needs to be, like, monotone, right? Are there any people living in this area? Besides robots, I mean. Yeah, welcome. Uh, so, hi, I'm Rose. I use she, her, uh, or Yari. Um, yeah, good night. Thank you. Uh, press the follow button if you want to be notified when I do other things. Um, but thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it. I do not know. I was... Oof. Thank you. I was not built to... <laughs> Shit, that's hard. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, maybe this is dumb. Okay. I was not built to wander. Uh, I feel like it should be lower, right? I, w I was not built to wander. I don't know. Not built to? So, y you just stand here? Must be boring. Do you at least have friends? Robot uh, friends? I cannot desire companionship. I have not been tamed. Not 
obtained? There was no time. I see. I want to go in here. Ooh, more stuff, more stuff. Oh, hey, look. I know what to do with one of these. <laughs> this box looks interesting. I wish I had something to pry it open with. I feel like you can use this. Nope. Okay. One, a robot made out. Hey, here we go. Asimov's laws. It's Asimov's laws of robotics. Uh, a robot may not one. A robot may not uh, uh, harm others or through an action cause others to come uh, come to harm. Number two, a robot must obey the orders given to it by people, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. Three, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or the second law. Fun fact for y'all, because I think this is important. The three laws of robotics written by Isaac Asimov are not a study in the perfect robotics laws, right? These are literally the book I robot is about all the ways that these three laws have like conflicts built into them that that make robots do awful things, right? That lead to these situations that robots cannot logic out of through the three laws alone. And so they develop their own extra stuff, right? The, the idea of iRobot is really that the three laws are not enough, right? That, that the three laws of robotics do not and cannot comprehend the complexity of human logic and social morality. You know, like, it, it, that's the idea of those three laws and, and that that entire book. And it's, it's amusing and I think a little bit frustrating for me. <laughs> I'm a huge nerd, right? But I think it's a little bit frustrating how often in, like, movies and shit, like, the three laws are treated as... I'm fine with this. This is just a reference to them, right? But the three laws are treated as this, like, absolute, like, this is how we should program robots. But, like, the debate on how to program artificial intelligences to, to, to the benefit of humanity, the debate on that within the AI community is very much strong and is heated and thorough and really difficult because gosh there's like so many things to consider right so many you have to consider you know every possible interaction that a robot could have with a human in order to make a thorough rule set for that you know and that's so you know we try and generalize but it's yeah anyway that's my that's my soapbox okay another piece of paper over here Self-charging solar battery model N87, one-year warranty included. Simply place your self-charging battery in full daylight with the lens facing up. Charges in seconds, no external power needed. If the battery fails to charge, check to see if the lens on the front side has not been dislodged during transport. One charge will last about 10 days. If you notice a decline in the charge cycle within the warranty period, please contact the manufacturer. Oh, so I have to find a lens, put it on the front here, and then use my son dusty shelves to uh to power it dusty shelves a page with faded ink a bowl to provide power to all robots and machinery able to provide power to all robots and machinery in the area via large electromagnetic field maintenance efforts are quite high as expected We've provided customized backup cells for the few most important robots. Their electromagnetic fields are much weaker and the signals are highly specific. In other words, these small cells can only charge one single. Uh, the rest of the page is unreadable. I like how now that Nico knows that they're speaking with a higher power, they like just speak out loud, right? Which is interesting. There are a lot of small glowing shrimp swimming in the jar. That's weird. 
some sort of small machine. I wonder what it does. I can feel my hair standing up a little. Yeah, it provides power through uh, um, induction. Now, here's the thing, right? Actually, inductive power does not... That's a big machine. It doesn't seem to be doing anything, though. There's a rectangle-shaped hole in the middle. Looks like something used to fit in here. Um... Okay, we have two puzzles in this one space. So far. The use of a robot as our replacement head engineer seems unorthodox, especially the one responsible for last year's incident. I suppose they had to get her away from the city, but that doesn't make it easier for, to swallow for those of us who work here. I hope that man knows what he's doing. Management. It's a faded poster. Five new positions available at the mines. Housing and other provisions are included upon hiring. First come, first serve. It's a faded poster. Reminder to all workers. The rarest form of blue phosphor is found during the phosphor shrimp's spawn period. If you observe a pond with a bubble or a surface, please contact management immediately. We will dispatch a harvest team as soon as possible. Oh. So the bubbled over ponds. Huh. Like the ones over here. Or not over here. They're further further up. Like this one. Has shrimp that have harvested phosphor or something. <gasps> I can use my glass bottle! Maybe? No. Okay, well, either way, it is late. I am taking... Nico is going to bed. Where's Nico's bed? I thought this was the house that I came out of. It definitely was. Okay, but there were instructions about saving in the thing. Here. Okay. Uh, closing the game will save your progress. This uh, game also auto saves after some key events. Okay, cool. Oh, I should probably, um, uh, I don't want to like, you know, full screen off. There we go. Okay. Quit and record your progress. Yes. Okay, cool. So, um, well, that was a heck of a game. And also, it is late as all get go. It is 11.30 my time, and I want to get some sleep eventually. But thank you so much for joining me. Um, and uh, if you haven't, um, please uh, hit that follow button up top. It really helps me out. Appreciate it. Um, and... Yeah, uh, I think I'm going to do this more often, quite frankly. Um, just play games, um, especially cool ones like this, little indie games and stuff like that that I'm um, uh, interested in or have wanted to play, um, kind of like as a game highlight sort of thing. Um, so let me know what you think. Uh, and um, really appreciate you being here. Um, support and stuff, links down below would help me out a lot. Um, and, uh, yeah, thanks. This was nice. I haven't been, haven't been feeling so well these past weeks, so it's been, it's good to get a chance to, um, you know, just 
play games and hang out and chat. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you again. Have a good night. And um, I'll see y'all around. Uh, not sure if I'll be doing a Thursday stream. We'll be posting an announcement about that. So, night, y'all.